all right is this working surely it is hi yeah it's working epic all right random live stream very random very rare uh for absolutely no reason i'm just gonna be reviewing tournament games very fun very awesome i don't know if the mic is good i don't know if the mic is bad i don't know if the mic is awful should be fine though should be fine what's up what's up what's up what is going on let me tweet out the stream and get an extra two viewers on my <laughs> i think it's fine all right yeah, yeah, yeah it seems to be working very epic look it's the stream mike is fine very nice all right let's go and tweet out the stream uh there we go i'll open up this in another window one second one second one second let me tweet out the stream let me tweet out the stream what's going on people rare stream right now pull up type in one hand uh reviewing my tournament games very nice all right Okay, I think that worked. All right, there we go. We're back. All right, so I'm not even going to waste any time. We're just going to get right into it. Uh, Can I pop out the chat? Just, there we go. I can. Nice. I'll just pop out the stream like that. Boom. We got Sonic Music playing. Yes, sir. Why the clickbait title? Are you new to this channel? <laughs> Is the super, super epic, salty, toxic, legendary spam or not? Clickbait enough anyway. So, we're in a tournament here. Uh, I'll pull up the tournament on Smogon. We're in a tournament. Random battle tournament, pretty much. You get random teams. That's the entire gist of it. Uh, I played in this tournament one time. I played in it again. And I'm playing in it for the third time. I've been on the exact same team uh, three times now. <laughs> I went five and three the first time. I went five and three the second time. And now I am currently... We're currently in the third week. So what is my current score? We'll find out. Let me pull up the thread so you guys can follow along with what's happening. Here we go. The Random Battle Tournament. Uh... I can zoom in. There we go. They got Team Karaidon. You got players like Blunder in the tournament. You got some players like... Let me see if I can find... Uh, Freezai should be here. Freezai's in the tournament as well. So we've got some other content creators in the tournament too. Team Karaidon versus Team Latias. 3-9. Mewtwo versus Mewtwo. Or Mewtwo versus the Veltal. Sorry. I have dyslexia. I don't. 6-6. Uh, six, six. Team Hoopa, my team. Well, the team that I'm on. I don't own the team. We're 10 and 2. Spoiler for that game. Uh, and then 3 to 9, Team Zarude. That was weak. Round 1. So those are the teams. You got the Karaidon team, the Latias team, the Mewtwo team, the Veltal team, Hoopa, Chimpao, Palkia, and Za. We're not calling them Zarude. That's that Za Za Zarude. Over here, me, Pimp. Yes, that's me, my epic Hoopa avatar versus Iron Man. Crying. He's a very good player. SPL drafted. SPL being like Smogon's like biggest team tournament. So you have the best of the best players. Sometimes you have people who have like two lines on the website get drafted, but that's very rare. But half the time, it's pretty much the top of the top players. This is my first opponent for week one. This is Battle Factory, so you give us competitive teams. But they're random. Sometimes you just get a horrible matchup. Sometimes you get a good matchup. Uh, even if they're competitive, that doesn't deny the fact that there's matchups. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get straight into the content. What you all did not really click on here for. You're probably clicking here to wonder where I've been at. I've been on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Tim6T. Very awesome. We got to 11,000 followers by actually tweeting. Very nice. Eight whole likes. This is huge. 
Elon Musk might as well just give me ownership of the website. So, looking at this matchup, I got Talonflame. It's decent. I mean, it beats Serena and Vileplume, but so do, you know, half my entire team as well. Crying, her biggest threat to my team, to me, was the Drapion on top of the Aerodactyl. So I pretty much had to play to prevent, prevent these things from uh, getting in a position where they can win. So any of my plays are pretty much trying to prevent me getting in a position where Drapion and Aerodactyl could potentially clean up. That basically means preserve Mudsdale, preserve a Scavalier, and anything else is kind of like whatever. Lead one, starting off, Duraludon, Mantine. Obviously, they're not going to stay in because I have Thunderbolt. All of these are random teams. These are random teams, random sets, random Pokemon, everything, random tier. So this is why all these Pokemon kind of suck. Sometimes they give you OU. Sometimes they give you NU. Sometimes they give you Little Cup. Sometimes you get Ubers. Anyways, I go for Thunderbolt turn one. No reason to try and be aggressive and go for body press. Just set the tone early. Nah, nah, nah. Just play normal. T-Bolt, I body press into the Vile Plume. If I get effects board, congratulations. That's my L. I go for a Draco Meteor and I miss. Which you might be thinking, that's pretty bad for me. That turn is great for me. It's very lucky for me, very unlucky for crying because I don't have minus two special attack right now. And she just used a strength sap, meaning my attack is lower. So her next strength sap is going to heal even less. And I get to fire off a full power Draco Meteor the next turn, which does a big 76. We drop in Draco. Shout out, Pokemon. That's a Joey. Another strength sap came through. 33 health. The switch out into the Drapion. I fire off another Draco Meteor, and that joint does 57. Good God. Dialga at home really is just a strong Pokemon. Like, great value Dialga is something to be feared. That did 56 at minus 2. Either way, uh, I go into Mudsdale. Mudsdale pretty much checks Drapion all the time. I'm going to get knocked off, but that's fine. I don't need too much health on my Mudsdale to be able to beat Drapion or Aerodactyl. Uh, Aqua Tail Drapion would be a problem, but Aerodactyl, no, never. <laughs> I'm not losing to Aerodactyl because I have stamina. So every time it ever hits me, I'm getting bulkier, you know? Foul Plume goes in, and I want to prevent that from ever being able to switch in. So I double into Duraludon. Has to switch. Uh, I made a bit of a mistake here with this Thunderbolt. Uh, at this point, I made that aggressive switch into Duraludon. Why? I, I don't know. Uh, why I didn't follow up, I mean, I don't know. I could have really just went for body press right off the bat. Because, simply put, simply put, I could have really just went for body press. I made that aggressive switch. This is premiered or live. This is a uh, premiere. This is a pre-scheduled video, and your comment is also scheduled. You're a paid actor. Thank you. Uh, I'll get your PayPal later. No, I'm playing. This is a live stream. We're live reviewing these tournament games. I would never upload this as a normal premiere video because this would probably get 10 views. Uh, but I just like rambling. And where else can you ramble but a live stream? Everything's chill. Is your money? Hey, I got you. I got you after the stream. Hit me up. <laughs> I'll send a, I'll send a thousand. Oh, but pretty much here. Uh, instead of going straight for body press, like the Karparaja was always coming in. I went for Thunderbolt because I was thinking, you know, the, the Mantine had the potential to come in. But on this turn, why would I ever make this aggressive switch if I was not going to keep up the aggressive plays? I went for T-Bolt thinking that Mantine would come in. But going for Body Press into Mantine, it's no difference to me going for Thunderbolt to Copperaja. Where this same play that's going to happen right here, where this Copperaja is obviously not going to stay in. They're going to go into Vileplume. I could have just went for T I could have just went for body press right off the bat. If I wanted to catch the Mantine that early, there's really no point. My Starmie has Life Warp Thunderbolt. <laughs> My Toxicroak obliterates it. There was no point in doing that. And now this whole play plays out. I get a critical hit Draco, so that's unfortunate for crying, because that wouldn't have done 68. Now she's in range of Thunderbolt. Serena has to switch in. Of course I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. Why would I not? Native Canadian. Appreciate the membership. I don't recommend people use memberships yet because I'm not back to content creation just yet. So people, hold off on your memberships, please. I appreciate it. Hold off on your memberships. I'm going to be editing them 
changing the tiers once I get back into the groove of things and not using Twitter and drawing all the time. Bro. Uh, anyways, I pivot into Talonflame on the Serena, take a knockoff. Talonflame quite literally does uh, nothing in this matchup. I go for U-turn. She makes a great play of staying in, not fearing the Brave Bird. Goes for U-turn to get momentum. Talonflame beats Vileplume and Serena, yes. But so does my Scavalier, so does my Duraludon, and so does my Toxicroak. <laughs> so, and then my Starmie also was faster with a Life or Ice Beam. Appreciate it, Svito. Sveto? Svito? How common are Toxic players? Not. Stealth Rock, Copper Raja. So that Stealth Rock pretty much confirmed to me that Aerodactyl has to be Dragon Dance on this team. It could be two Stealth Rock users, but that's so rare. Battle Factory usually accounts for the fact that your team has a Stealth Rocker. They're not going to give you another one. So that being Stealth Rock, Copper Raja, I knew it was earlier from taking the damage. It could either be that or Assault Vest. So I knew from that point on that it was Dragon Dance Aerodactyl. If it was Stealth Rock Aerodactyl, then she got the worst team ever. Either way, Dragon Meteor kills the Vile Plume on the Switch. I, yeah, I used Draco Meteor on the Copper Raja, uh, expecting the switch, because I didn't want Vile Plume to come in, and I get effect board, and then I get paralyzed or put to sleep. So I go straight for Draco. I think this was Inu, the tier that they gave us. These are random teams, completely random. So Drapion comes out, goes for Source Dance. I go for another Draco Meteor, but at minus two, that still does 50. Two, we dropping them Dracos. No Pokemon MD. We dropping them Dracos. Big shout out to Joe. And then Talonflame takes 50, dies. Like I said, I, Talonflame d doesn't do anything here. Uh, I die. So, I was hoping maybe I could have got Flame Buddy Burn, but it really makes no difference. We're going to Starmie. Mantine comes out. Uh, I go straight for Thunderbolt on the switch. It was going to kill Drapion. It was going to kill Aerodactyl from Fool. It's going to hit Paparaja. There's no point in Ice Beaming either. And she goes to Aerodactyl and the Stone Edge misses. My Thunderbolt, of course, hits and a one shot killing the Aerodactyl. So that is the end of the game. Uh, I said my bad in the chat. In reality, I already calc this. This didn't make any difference. The Stone Edge, uh, it could have crit. Basically, her missing this Stone Edge eliminated any chance of her being able to actually win the game. Uh, Drapion actually, with some luck, because my Starmie would have died after to Life Orb, not to the Stone Edge, but to Life Orb. So I would have had no more Pokemon faster than Drapion, meaning it actually could have, if I played the absolute worst Pokemon ever in my life, and got into a position where somehow the Drapion can kill my Escavalier and Mudsdale. I could have lost still. But that Stone Edge missing and my Starmie being alive still basically means that she can no longer under any circumstance. Unless I literally have a stroke live in the middle of the tournament game. She, she can't win anymore. So she forfeits. Uh, and that's the end of game one. Come up 1-0. These are the best of three sets though. So we got to go into game two. Also, yeah, this game. I'm sure a lot of people saw this game. Me versus the Smogon OU council member, and I brought a Lechonk, and I ended up... I don't know how, how many turns into this battle this was. Oh my god. Garganacle, Garganachi, whatever his name is. I ended up winning. Isn't that crazy? Not really. This is a pretty... This team... I used this exact same team in the first game, uh, and I just didn't have a Lechonk. I had a Terra Bug, Roaring Moon. I just di didn't do anything, so I just put Lechonk, and then I ended up winning. So, very nice. Anyways, that's completely unrelated. Game two. Yes, yeah, so Lechonk is very based. Game two. They gave us OU teams this time, more random Pokemon, more random teams, random sets, random tier. This matchup for me is horrible. So I have Choice Banded, Weavile, I have a Volt Switch, Zapdos, I believe it's like a 
I don't know if it's Stealth Rock Blissey or not. Uh, if it's Stealth Rock Blissey, it... no, I don't think it. I guess I think I got two Stealth Rockers then. Uh, Special Defense of Landorus, Choice Band Tyranitar, and then a Mew that does not have Body Press. It's Cosmic Power, Stored Power, Taunt, and like Roost or something. Soft Boy, whatever healing move they gave it. I don't have Body Press. How did they get Iron Man? Uh, when you win tournaments and stuff, and sometimes if you get drafted into tournaments, you can get custom avatars. So I have a custom Hoopa on here because I'm on the Hoopa team. I actually have two. There's the male and female one that you can that I can put. Uh, and I also have my original avatar from when I used to be a staff member. And then when you win tournaments, you also can get avatars. These are more like team ones than what I have. Uh, but uh, Iron Man, is, it's a very dope one with the Machamp too. But anyways, this matchup is just really bad for me. My Weavile, what is my Weavile really doing? <laughs> Uh, there's a Tapu Fini, which resists both, like, all of my moves. Knock off, Triple Axel, Ice Shard, and Low Kick. There's a Buzz Wall, which is, like, completely walling. It has Rocky Helmet, too, so if I Triple Axel it, I'm taking three Rocky Helmets. Probably taking the, probably doing the same damage <laughs> that I'm taking. Uh, there's a Melmetal there, so if I ever do that, I'm dead. Uh, there's a Heatran, which is not too bad for Weavile, and then Tyranitar have Low Kick. But anyways... I pretty much accepted that I'm going to be losing pretty badly to Melmetal, to Buzzwool, and those were like the scariest Pokemon to me, so. Lead Mew with Ice Beam. No, but I've done Lead Mew with Flare Blitz. I've done Lead Mew with like Misty Explosion. Moves that like kill it. But anyways, she leads off with Heatran, goes for Stealth Rock, and I Stone Edge critical hit. Turn one, and that's a dead Heatran. That did not kill. But it being Air Balloon told me that it was an offensive uh, heat trend. Anyways, Low Metal comes out. I switch. And I die to an Ice Punch. Uh, I wasn't switching in anything. This was more like me letting the Landorus die. When did I start playing Pokemon Showdown? 2013. I've been playing this for almost 10 years. I played this at the end of 2013. Anyways, I was letting the Landorus die here because... What does it do? <laughs> and what do I switch to? My especially defensive Blissey? Very nice. My Zapdos? The only thing that can take hits from this? No, thank you. Uh. So, I go into Zapdos now. Bring it in safely. Defog. The Iron Bash comes out. I get a Static Paralysis. Yeah, Shodan's been up since, like, 2011, I think? Let me see. I'm pretty sure... I can check when, like, Zarel. Yeah, May 6, 2011 was when Zarel registered. <laughs> that's... that. Yeah, that's crazy. Been here for a while. It's been here for a while, but there are other things, too, like Pokemon Online as well, that used to exist before Showdown. Anyways... After that Static Paralysis, I go for Volt Switch. Uh, I don't want to Roost on an Earthquake. I don't want to take Ice Punch either. So, I go into Mew. Yes, Temp 60 is exposed live in these tournament games. Especially this one. I get exposed here. Anyways, I'm back to Zapdos. My Mew does not have Body Press, but I knew that she would fear the Body Press or the Roost or the Cosmic Power and go into Tapu Fini. So I make a double switch into Zapdos to get to keep up any momentum. I need to play offensive here because I'm in the back seat just by matchup. So I go for another Volt Switch. The my metal is at 69. I go into Weavile. I am literally screaming at crying that my low kick or, or that I have low kick on my Weavile. This is what I'm saying live with my Weavile. So, it's the only reason to ever switch into Weavile. So, I double again into Zapdos, and she switches into Tapu Fini again. So, I catch the Tapu Fini again. She goes for a Moonblast. I go for a Volt Switch. Having this health on the Zapdos is not as important as getting that damage on Tapu Fini. So, I was completely fine with not going for Roost. I also did not want to Roost on a Trick. That would have lost me even more momentum. So, Buzzwool comes out. 
My Tyranitar goes for Stone Edge. That's 53. It's pretty strong. Uh, Buzzwool is faster. So of course, I have to switch. For the 17th time now, my Mew does not have a uh, body press. It's only stored power is my only move. So currently, it's at 20 power. <laughs> I'll go for Roost as Tapu Fini comes in. At this point, I, I, I'm completely fine with letting my Mew kind of go. But I also want to preserve its health to an extent. I go for Cosmic Power as the T-Tar comes in. I want to keep it healthy so I can keep switching into things. So I do switch it out and go into my Tyranitar because I'm fairly certain that she's either going to go into Tapu Fini or she's going to go for Crunch, right? Those are the only two options because I could still have Body Press and I would live a Bandit Crunch. She goes for Trick, gives my Tyranitar a Scarf if she gets a choice ban. I do kill the Tapu Fini. I think that this play was... There's not a lot you can do, but I don't think that giving me a Scarf was the right move here because... Now, I am guaranteed fast in your Tyranitar. I'm also fast in the Buzzwool. Uh, and you'll see what ends up happening here. I literally turn after. I'm guaranteed faster. My Astonish is 57. Her Astonish is 84. We both two it KO each other, but I'm guaranteed faster. So, you know, it wasn't like... I think getting that... Now imagine if she went for Moonblast there and got the damage on my Tyranitar. Instead, I would have been dead to that Stone Edge next turn. And I couldn't even... Maybe there was a chance I wouldn't have even been faster. Moonblast gets paralyzed. I don't I don't really care. I kind of wanted my Mew to, you know, die here. <laughs> uh, me going for God's Power is basically a, a, a call for help and saying I do not have Body Breast. So maybe I should have just went straight for for, I don't know. Press? Maybe? <laughs> Not press, a store power, just got like the 2%. Oh, okay, she expected me to switch. Okay, that's fair. I go for Roost. Uh, again, this is me showing all my moves. I, I think I go for a Taunt or something. Yeah, just to let everybody know at home, hey, I don't have Body Press. All of the times that I've gotten Mew, in Battle Factory, it does not have body press. And it pisses me off so many times because they always give people a Tyranitar and they never give you like a T-Spike user or something. It's really annoying. I'm going to Weavo. Melm comes back out. Uh, at this point, this triple axle is not a guaranteed two at KO. It's actually favored for crying when I wait, when you wait in Paralysis chance, my miss chances, because Triple Axel can miss on all three hits, has 90% accuracy on all three hits. Uh, but I got a critical hit, which basically guaranteed that it killed. Yes, there are not enough fine boom sound effects. Anyways, my metal dies. And this end game gets kind of shysty. It's Rocky Helmet Buzzwool, so my Weavile will die. Yes. For, uh, this is a very epic voice reveal. First time never before seen. I go into Blissey here, so... I went into Blissey. I... Uh, bro, if I was going to let Pokemon die, it was going to be Blissey. Uh, but then I was like... I have Blissey right in here. She's a thousand percent going to just kill it with close combat, right? I mean, who wouldn't? So, again, this whole game I've been trying to play a little more aggressive because this matchup is not great. So, this actually was probably a mistake. Letting the Zapdos take this damage here. I could have actually just let the Zapdos stay here and then went for Roost at a later point in the game. But I do go into Zap. The CC goes, and at this point, I have the offensive momentum. Volt switch. What's this song? I have uh, Space space Trip Steps from Meteor Herd, Sonic Adventure 2. Pretty dope, I know, right? I'm not listening to it, but you all are. <laughs> I go for Triple Axel. It's going to 2 it KO everything. Uh... 
And again, I'm thinking very retrospectively because of what happens at the very end of the game, but maybe I could have went for knockoff and knocked off the Rocky Helmet on the Buzzwall. Or at least attempted to at some point in the game. Instead of going for triple axles. Like, I'm thinking very retrospectively because I know what happens at the very end of this game. But Buzzwall comes out. I let the Blissey die. Every Everything on my team at this point dies to close combat, so Blissey's the first thing to die. It's not beating a Tyranitar. It's not beating a Buzzwool. I go back in to Big Zap. Big Zap dose. Uh, I go for Hurricane. Because Hurricane and a Volt Switch will kill Tyranitar. Even if it missed, it would have killed the, with the Volt Switch after because Sand wore off. And I go into T-Tar first. And again, I'm thinking retrospectively again. I could have went to Weavile first. And gone for Knockoff. Because she's always going to go for Roost. If I go for Triple Axel. So I could have done that. Zack Tyranitar. Then spam Triple Axel later. But uh... Tyranitar Fire Punch dies to Rocky Helmet. Weavile comes out. Triple Axel. I take Rocky Helmet. It's very funny that I'm taking like <laughs> more damage from, from Rocky Helmet <laughs> than I'm doing back. Uh, yes, Tim C does cheat. I just asked him the other day. He does. Weavile dies to Rocky Helmet. How did you come up with the name Tim T? Uh, the name I first had was Tempering, and I wanted that because I wanted to shorten my name to Temp, because I like the color on the name, and I picked Temp on Pokemon Showdown, after I became a mod, and I picked Temp, and then the 6 is my favorite number, and then I just put the T, it sounds like 60, uh, yeah, Temp 60 origin story, anyways, I go into Zap, and here we go, all it needs is Zapdos to hit the hurricane so go ahead and put your bets in the chat what happens here seven is better you're wrong does zapdos land a hurricane or not yes this is very epic very awesome final turn 70 percent accurate hurricane four times super effective on the buzzwool this buzzwool has no special defense this probably kills four buzzwools and i'm going for the hurricane with my zapdos Surely, at the end of this grueling tournament battle, it just misses, <laughs> and I lose. <laughs> it just misses, and I lose the game. So, uh, very epic. Uh, very, 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 very nice. So that was the end of uh, game two of the tournament game. So we got game three. Very nice. Yep. Uh, and the game rewarded me with a pretty decent matchup for that. Going to the next one. They gave me... They gave us PU, I think. Her team is... Decent. It, it works. My team is also pretty good. On the contrary. My team can lose pretty quickly to Lycanroc. My entire game plan from the start was to eliminate the two rock types. So that... Magmortar can win. This is my game plan from the start of the match, basically. So, all pretty much all of my plays, except for one questionable play that I'll point out later. Was an attempt to get rid of the two rock types one lycan rocks faster and then colossal four times resists fire and everything else doesn't resist and they all die to fire a fire blast all right haunt hex all that stuff very nice Recover. I Toxic on the Tangela. Uh, we trade Toxics. Putting the Tangela on a timer is a lot better for me than having a timer on my Jellicent. Simply because getting Tangela chipped is great for Lycanroc and it's great for Lorantis. Especially for Lorantis. Tempest? Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people read it as Tempest. Temp T. Temp T. Temp 6. Just Temp 6 T. Toxic, toxic. I go into Toga tomorrow because what's well, gonna happen except for getting knocked off. Iron barbs and helmets, bigger even, just bigger chip. 
lower down that regenerator health next time Tangela comes in. Obviously, she's going to switch out into the anything. Colossal comes out. I go for Wish. Pivot in my Aggron. Colossal can never have Earthquake, Test Flamethrower, Rock Blast. So, those are spikes. And uh, I go for Rocks because you're not staying in with Colossal. I mean, you could flex how much better you are than me by going for <laughs> Rapid Spin. Uh, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Talk tomorrow. I go for Toxic again. I'm fine with my Togedemaru taking a Flame here. But Togedemaru is still existent in this matchup. Okay. That's a lot. I'm not, I'm not fully fine with taking the Flame here, but I feel like switching is so blatantly obvious. And I don't want Aggron to keep taking that much damage. I'm not fine with Togedemaru taking the Flame, but you'll see. <laughs> I go for Wish because Flamethrower never kills me. But I get burned. Flamethrower never kills that percent. I think it does like 51 max, maybe 52. But I got burned. So I died. I had spiky shield, so I would have been able to heal. But Lorantis comes out. And here I go straight for Leaf Storm. The Wish was still active, by the way. So this was like, this was me trying to make up for the fact that that happened. The Wish was still active, so Flamethrower wouldn't have really mattered on my Lorantis. Oh my god, I skipped to the end. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad. Tangela comes out. Lorantis does a nice 24 or 25. Sorry, I am, I'm, I'm illiterate. So Walmart Superior has to switch because it's Walmart Superior and it sucks. Agron comes out. Immune to Toxic. I can, I think, now finally threaten the team with Head Smash, surely? Right? This is Leech Seed, which is actually pretty big for this interaction. Because now it's, she's going to be at 2%, when in reality, she's probably even closer to maybe like. You know. I don't know if out of, how, uh, out of Head Smash range. Ne not after Toxic, but. The way. She goes for Knockoff, gets rid of my lefties, which is. Fine. Black and Rock comes out. Has close combat, obviously. It, it always has close combat. But I would much rather, you know, not switch on a Swords Dance and die. I'd rather that not happen, personally. <laughs> I'd rather not switch on a Swords Dance and literally immediately lose the game. It does, it, it does like, kill everything except for Jellicent, which has a very epic X to reply with do maybe like 50. Lorantis is a chance to die, which is hilarious. I'm like fully physically defensive or something. Uh, I go for a Leaf Storm. I think this was a misplay. I feel like I should just went for a superpower like immediately because then I would have actually, I'm pretty sure to a KO at this. So this was a questionable play. I shouldn't have went for a Leaf Storm. I just went straight for superpower. Now Flame is going to get the extra damage on me. That wouldn't have happened in the first place if I just went for Superpower. And I would have been at uh, plus three. So I get Flame Body Burn, which is unfortunate for me. Obviously, I would have my thought process, I didn't want to risk the Flame Body Burn. But I would have been plus three defense anyway. Getting burned doesn't matter because winning this game is going to be through Leaf Storm. I don't even want to win the game at Lorantis. My entire game plan, as I said at the start, was to get rid of the two rock types so that my Magmortar can win. But you'll see on this turn that I, for some ungodly reason, completely deviate from this game plan. And this is why I'm not a top player. I go for Synthesis. Now this was the dumbest play that I could have done possible because now I'm risking a Stone Edge critical hit for literally no reason. Why would I do that? I don't know. Tim 6 t exposed. Uh, I risk. Is SD a mega throw? I guess she could have just went straight for the stone edge and got the crit anyway. But I'm assuming that with that timer, she did source dance because me going for synthesis could have been a. She was trying to play for my choke and me going for synthesis and then getting the crit and punishing me for choking. I had no reason to do this because literally if I just killed this, I was in my exact game. Mortar kills everything. Uh, but Stone Edge does not critical hit me, thank you. So, uh, Noob Temp gets out scot-free after throwing the game for no reason. 
uh, Gallade comes out. The critical hit came a turn later, and it crit my Lorantis. I would have killed it, but again, it doesn't matter because Magmortar is Magmortar. It's faster than everything here except for Jolteon, and it does a lot of damage with Fire Blast. Wow, 54% to Clefairy. All right, goodbye. Dead. 50%? Okay, it seems that you are dead. Goodbye. And Gallade, dead. All right, very awesome. Speaking of Gallade, look at this. Gallade. Whoa, Legend of Gallade? Live manga creation. Coming to the channel in 20, uh, 32. Anyways, so that was week one. I'm up 1-0. Oh, next game. Or next, yeah. Me versus. Don't know how to pronounce, but I'm going to just say. Mikado their best. Please tell me I got that right. Please. I don't think I did. Uh, but anyways, I got a good matchup in here. Uh, and then the other game, that matchup was even worse for him. But this matchup was pretty good for me. Uh, one thing about Porygon is that it never has trace in this. It only has download. That's very awesome. So they gave us Little Cup. They gave us a bunch of baby Pokemon. Whoa. Uh. Anyways, I played my Chen Chao's health. What? Weirdly, I didn't have to. I didn't have to do some of these plays. But anyways, I go straight for Volt Switch instead of going for the Scald because Grookey was definitely gonna come out. Going to Larvesta. My Larvesta has a pretty decent matchup here. It has to beat a couple of different Pokemon at the same time. It doesn't have to, but it's working a little bit over time. Go straight for Blitz. Who knows? I could have got a crit on the Larvesta. Uh, but I probably should have just went for U-Turn just to have as much health as possible. Because, I mean, obviously it's going to go for Morning Sun. Uh, and I didn't even go for Blitz the next turn, so... Just go for U-Turn. So I just took damage for literally no reason. Chin Chow is in again. Uh, a big thing is that he has no ground immunity. Or, I'm so stupid. He has no electric immunity. He has no electric uh, immunity, but that Volt Switch gets a critical hit. Timber's in, goes for Wood Hammer, and Timber's gonna eat that up for, uh, eat that up for breakfast. That's a dead rookie. Oh yeah, background for my opponent. One of one of the best players on Smogar right now. They're killing it, especially with Generation 8. Uh, and definitely one of the best in Battle Factory as well. One player, them crying and blunder. I was all like, Jesus, three back to back? Wiggly tough. I, oh, there's no there's no bad opponent in this entire pool. Get there, all of them. All my opponents are good opponents, uh, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Rookie dies. Arkin comes out. You're either going to go for U-turn or dual wing beat. Pharisee's safest. Wigglytuff, yeah. I'm like, I'm like beyond negative against Wigglytuff in Battle Factory. As in, like, I, like I'm like, probably like, like 0 and 8. Maybe I've won a game. I don't know. This live will be saved? I don't know. I think so. Anyways, knock off. Hits my Larvesta. Not much I can do. I go for Morning Sun. Tortuga switches in. Obviously, it's a rock type. So what do I do with, with my uh, Pokemon four times weak to rock? I stay in because it's obviously going to click rocks. Expect me to switch. Burn Tortuga. Ember comes out. Wow. 16. Arkin has a higher attack stat than Snorlax. That is crazy. L Snorlax in my books. Drain Punch is 36. My Timber being a Giga Chad is being a Soy. Critical Hits does 72. And then uh, 40. And then I also high roll. 
Well, no, it's not a high roll. This was a uh, guaranteed, but that crit basically some I have Iron Fist. I'm pretty sure his is lacking in a Violite. <laughs> that's uh, that's the difference here. Flare Blitz, not gonna kill my Timber. Timber is such a Giga Chad, dude. Almost a million subs, yes sir. It would have been last year if I uploaded, ha <laughs> ha but I didn't. I don't know. I've just been drawing too much. Anyways, Earthquake, 43. I kept my uh, Larvesta in. I've been playing very aggressive with my Larvesta and it paid off. Just clicking U-turn. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, U-turn is such a... I, I hate all the pivot moves, dude. I hate them all. I just can turn my brain off and just click U-turn and keep momentum on. Obviously, you have to kind of use your brain to make those plays, but you... Uh... Goes for another earthquake. I go for a spike. Top five Gintama characters. This is a very important question of the stream. Need to pause the entire tournament game for this. It's very important. Okay, Gintama. Uh, Gintama top five characters. We'll go Gintoki. He's up there. Gintoki definitely high up there. Uh, Kamui. Kamui's not like character but I, I like Kamui a lot uh Madao Madao's great Okita Okita's really really pop up there and I'd probably Utsuro Utsuro probably too one of the best villains ever you know uh hey main Jojo appreciate the membership I'll say it again please Appreciate it, but everybody, everybody do hold off on your memberships until like start content creation again. Even though it's like, I think it's like a dollar or something, but I made it like as cheap as possible. I, I just, I'm not making content at the moment yet. I've just been drawing too much. I'm trying to focus on it. Uh, for, uh, work on your homework or play Pokemon Showdown? Ooh, that's a good question. Why not both? Why not both? Anytime you lose, you have to work on your homework for a good amount of time. Oh, like 30 minutes straight. Oh, just straight homework. Do I play Unite? No, because I think if I played it, I would get addicted to it because I never played League of Legends because I don't want to get addicted to it. Anyways, but now is the go exactly. D2, appreciate the membership and my Larvesta died. Okay. We're going to Chinchou again. I actually was lost on whether or not Porygon had Trace, but then I just checked in the set and it never has Trace. It always has Download with the random sets. Again, these are random teams. Random sets. Yes, sir. Agency Crab. Yes, sir. Big Crawdon. Big Crawdons. Uh, Porygon 2. Download. Yep. Yeah, yeah, my full switch is 39, so that's, that's some crazy damage. Ponyard always beats Porygon, so just go stick for a uh, stick for not. We got flame body burned here. A lot of things could have gone wrong in this game for sure. Oh snap! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll snap indeed. I'm going to Chinchou, expecting a turn, and I just wanted to get extra chip, but. Dying to Flare Blitz is also not bad. It's just getting chip. Diglett's able to come out, trap the Larvesta. Final Gambit, you're dead. You think you can switch out against Diglett with that Arena Trap? This is what Diglett has to say to you. It don't work. There's no way out of this one. You're done. As I proceed to one shot the Larvesta. There's no switching against my boy, Diglett. All right, baller, you let me know how it goes. You're about to go on a, the biggest win streak of your life. And then you're awake up the next day with <laughs> the homework due. You got to do it at the start of the class. Uh, that sucker punch was definitely a roll. I didn't die. Uh, it's choice scarf Arkin as well. So it would have been put into defeatist range. So it's earthquake wouldn't, it would have to like super crit me to then into like another Porygon crit or something. For me to even possibly lose point in the tab. 
But I also Iron Head flinched the Porygon. Again, Porygon's never beating this. It also used the Berry Juice early. But it's at that point where you're just like, okay. <laughs> okay, look. I got hit by a roll, and then I got flinched. The game does not want me to win, even if it's, like, kind of over. The game doesn't even want me to, like, be having a chance of uh, having a comeback. So, one game one into game two. Whoa, there's only two replays. Well, that's pretty much a spoiler on what happens for the next game. This one is pretty slow. I don't know if I want to go by this one. Like... I don't know if I want to go... I don't know. Wow, all right, Skull Burn, close combat, crit on the same turn. That's quite an eventful turn too. I wanna ask, what do you think of your copycats here? I got some Drake lyrics pulled up for you. What do you have to say about your copycats? Look, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm the originator of this. I don't think, I think I popularized this like cringe style of video, but uh, I don't think I'm the originator. So I won't call them copycats, but there's definitely people who copy the the thumbnails, the editing speed, but here we go. If all I hear is me, then who should I be afraid of? Why? Why would I have anything bad to say about people who copied my style of video? <laughs> if they want to copy the editing speed and they want to copy the thumbnails, the teams, the everything, I don't care. Here, let them do them. Let them exist. It's freaking YouTube, bro. We all got to eat. It's all Pokemon Showdown. I don't care. Anyways. So sad. So there we go. Scald. Yep. 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 Scald. Yep. All right. This is a very slow game. So I'm just going to kind of not play this as slow as it is. This is a very slow game. Basically, my entire game plan is... Not losing to set up Uxie, which is the only thing on his team that could really threaten me. It, uh, initially, it was Glastria. Freaking Glastria, Glastria. I don't know how to pronounce that thing. It's like Glacier, but like it's not at the same time. <laughs> I also say Spectria instead of like Spectria. I'm, I'm curious to see what some people say. But uh, this was a pretty slow paced match, so I'm not going to let you guys just sit through this. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff happening, a lot of hazards being set up. He has Rapid Spin, Torkoal, not Torkoal, what am I talking about? Rapid Spin, uh, Colossal. My hazard removal is, I think, Defog Rotom? Uh, so basically, I was set on setting up hazards as much as I can, and getting into a position where I can win with Magmortar and Glade. Glacier. I've... Interesting. Uh oh yeah, that gyro ball did hilarious amount of damage. <laughs> that did a uh, 16, very big damage, very huge, super effective damage. Love Pharaoh Seed. This is a pretty slow game. Like it's just a lot of. It's not. I don't think the game took that long, but it was slow in the fact that not a lot was happening in terms of. You know the substance of the game like it's a lot of me leech seeding going for protect double leech seeding setting up spikes and protecting on my leech seeds to keep burning leech seed pp spikes leech seed protect paralyze 18 times i go into rotom so uh a spin can't happen that happened earlier where i blocked the spin this time it goes for spikes wisely enough i go for shadow ball getting the chip and my rotom starts taking big damage i do have pain split well, also has like a billion HP and Rotom has like none, so Pain Split's pretty good for me. If I take damage, the only thing that he can pivot to to take Pain Splits would be Glastria and Lantern because they don't have any health left, which is what he does. I go for Volt Switch. 
I can keep my paint split available for later in the match. Bramble gas is hot. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Gold on the glass year. That's dead. Ooksy comes out. Uh, and at this point, I'm like, okay, well, this has to be the calm mindset, right? You don't save this for this long if it's not. So I'm not going to go and just immediately volt switch. I'm going to toxic because I need to force it to go for rest. Force it. Sounds like forcing. Appreciate that. I'm not a legend. You are. Goes for another calm mine. Pretty much you have to at this point. It's the gambit. Uh, I'm going to Ferris seed now. I want to... You need to pressure the Uxie. So it's like I'm about to get swept. 1-0 so far. A big W. No homework. Okay, okay, okay. Goes for rest. Elite seed off. He's faster. Obviously. So I get to switch into Rotom for free. It's not a sleep talk Uxie. So so far it's looking like I'm about to get swept. But no. Rotom heals too much because I don't have a lot of HP. And he does. My Shadow Ball does 24. I heal with more leech seed health. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty much here, you have to go for store power or you have to go for rest. Either one of the two. I get a spit F drop. The going for rest is like guaranteed losing, but store power kills my Rotom. Uh, but you're at 13. I'm a Gallade. So, Zax, the Uxie. Of course I attack. I mean, I'm not going to try and Swords Dance on some craziness because I have such a great lead. I can still lose in like a world where I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I can still lose. Like I can like I think Cycle Cut doesn't guaranteed kill here. But let's see. I have Paralysis in my favor. I have Psycho Cut crit in my favor. You also need to be able to wish and protect to be able to get out of this. You kill me, I go into Magmortar and, you know, do things. Do Magmortar things. But I do get a critical hit immediately, and that pretty much ends the game. It didn't kill from that range, I don't think. But you had to wish protect to be able to get out of that. It was still possible for sure. I'm not going to pretend like it was impossible. And play Fortnite win. Uh, did here. I used to play Fortnite back in the back in the good old days. Let me see if I can pull it up here. This is so old. Oh my god, it's such an old video. Here, this is me playing Fortnite. This is so crazy. Back in the good old days, this is like 2019 or something. I quick scope someone out of the air. I was going crazy on Genshin. Uh, not Genshin. I have Genshin in the back, as you can see, but here, do I do, is this the clip? I think I, like, snipe somebody out of the air, which is, like, crazy. I mean, like, actually kind of crazy. Like, I was actually kind of cracked at this back in the, back in the day. Yes, Temp60 lore. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? It happens at some point. I was like so hyped too. I heard that sound. Yeah, here we go. Headshot. Sheesh. <laughs> Ooh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me being talented at a game for once. Now I just suck. <laughs> this was so like. Oh, this is it. This is the best play. Here we go. This was so random. I don't know. I was so hyped in like the post commentary. But Headshot. It's not that much of a quick scope, but you know, in the moment, quick it feels scope. like a quick scope. I'm gonna call this quick, a quick scope. It's 2019. Give me a break. I am so good at this game. That was pretty epic. Uh, now I do Genshin and stuff. Let's see what happens in my Genshin clip. Okay, okay. These Genshin impact things. I uh, minus 200 viewers. Minus 200 viewers. Wow. Wow. Jesus. W. Kazuha. Okay. And then I show the stats and stuff. Very cool. Yep. 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 All right. Very awesome.
Okay, anyways. Next, the big match. Temp 60 versus Blunder. Tournament game. Temp 60 exposed for... <laughs> yes. Anyways. So, for week three, we had to play against each other. And... Yeah, I was very much looking forward to this game. Very, very much looking forward to this. Anyway, tournament game. Me versus Blunder. The battle of the YouTubers. Who's my favorite Pokemon? Gibble. Get straight into it. So looking at this, uh, I didn't have that many thoughts going into this like matchup, into the game. We played earlier than we, were, than we, were, than we, than we scheduled. We just played earlier. Uh, I was definitely just kind of clicking, but let's see. I think with Metagross, it has a it has a matchup, like on paper. Favorite it's Lopany. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Let's keep this between me and you. Don't tell anyone that. My favorite is Gibble. Trust me, trust me. Not Lopany. Or Gardevoir. Or Serena. Nope, it's Gibble. Klefki versus Metagross. I mean, it can be Magnet Rise. It has potential to be ma uh, Magnet Rise. But I go straight for Earthquake after going for those rocks. We exchange some hazards. Very humble. Handshake. Exchange some hazards. Vaporeon, yes. I go for Toxic and miss. Uh, it goes for Recover. It sets me back about a turn. But here we go. Not Serena the character. Serena the grass type Pokemon, buddy. Yes, next video is with Joe Biden live. Next video is indeed with Joe Biden. Trust me. Here. Let me give you a preview. Here's our video with Joe Biden. Always in the barbershop, chief beeping about this, chief ain't about that. My boy at BD on the fucking Lamron. Joe Biden he spitting facts. I don't be putting in no work. Shut the fuck up. Y'all know shit. And all Sir. the fuckers talk, talk that talk, Joe. Chief talk that talk, chief Joe. Chief Joe. Big. Shut the fuck up. Y'all don't live with that nigga. Y'all know that nigga. Talk that talk, talk Joe. Shoot at the police and shit. Crossover Joe, Joe Biden. Yes, we played. Motherfucker, stop fucking. Yeah, me and Blunder played in the tournament. Joe's spitting. Let him cook. Hold on. Let Joe cook. Let them know. Let them know. In reality, Joe Biden would probably not be able to remember half the words that he is <laughs> scheduled to say. But anyways, uh, I go into Sigilyph. Double Wisp happens. Uh, that means I'm going to be weaker to Hex. I do have Magic Guard on Sigilyph. What was cooking? I go for air slash. Uh, it would have done like 2%, but yeah. I don't have energy ball. This could have had energy ball. Again, these are random teams. All these are random. It's me versus Blunder for the tournament. Stealth rocks come up from stack attack. I go into beware. And my big beware does not go for close combat. Instead, that boy goes for double edge. Boom! 50 on the clef key. And what do I do after going for the double edge? Go for close combat. Boom. He told me uh after that he thought I was banded. I did too. I had the sil I had the Pokemon in front of me, but I used the move and it did 50, and I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't know Vieira was built like that. I I convinced myself that I was choice banded. Uh but close combat into the stacka. Sigilyph comes out. I go into my own. And it's Air Slash does 41. Air Slash is such a weak move, man. So weak. I defog away the hazards. And he goes for Calm Mind. So I was thinking that it was something, you know, a little more passive. Until I saw the, the, the Flame Orb and the fact that it did 41, I was like, oh, no. It was something. Far more sinister than I could have ever 
conceived. In reality, this was like the worst set for him to have possible. Uh, it's it's weak. Sigilev, yes, this is like the noob killer, the flame orb, sometimes like cosmic power. It's like the super noob killer, thousand elo on the ladder. I could bring, bring this into a Tim60 video and it's my opponent be like, whoa, are you hacking? No way. Whoa. Very, very awesome. But in real matches, it's this not the greatest set, so they gave him this. Uh, it's okay. Okay, hold on. It's a fine set. It's a fine set. In this matchup, it's not great. If he had the life orb one, I literally lost on the spot. I think it's a fine set, but I'm pretty sure that the meta, right, the actual NU meta back in Gen 8 definitely adapted to this. I remember there being a res like a surge of this set being everywhere and winning games a lot. But then everybody's like, okay, can we like stop playing like a thousand EO players and people started building teams to beat this. I think you're playing Battle Factory. You don't really get teams to beat this. But anyways, Sigilyph is flying endlessly in pain as Finch brought out. <laughs> yes. Uh, I go for Shell Smash on the other Calm Mind. Shadow Ball, since it's the piss poor weak Sigilyph set, even at plus three, that joint only did 77 to my teacup. And its Air Slash got disabled. So now I'm also able to go for a Strength Zap because its only attacking move is <laughs> Air Slash. <laughs> uh, so Pulte guys is able to just spam Shadow Ball at this point. They also gave him a no ghost resist, no ghost immunity, where they gave me two ghost immunes. It doesn't matter because Stored Power would obliterate them anyway. Uh, Stored Power is going to be stronger than Shadow Ball, so Serena dies. No! No kiss. Do I think I'm the best player on Pokemon Showdown? No. <laughs> no. I wish I was. I may be, uh, I may be, like, top 10,000, you know? I'm up. <laughs> Do I think I'm the best? Nah. I don't have the grind set to be the best. But anyways, we won that game with a Pulte guy sweep. Uh, I mean, he had no ghost resist, like, let alone a ghost immunity. He had no ghost resist. So, the T. I think it's worse. It's worse than X game. So can you point out which Pokemon on this team has the matchup? And in this match, which Pokemon looks like it destroys the other team? Just just tell me. Like, wh which one looks like it just obliterates the other with no effort? Just put your guess into just put your guesses into the chat. Like, what looks like it just what looks like it just obliterates the other team immediately? See some Manda Buzz, Lele, Mew, Mel Metal. Not wrong. Yeah, Mel Metal. They're, they're not a slow bro, but you're on the right track. Okay, that's a psychic type. Yes, Abu Lele, the, the King, Mel Metal, the Vulture, Whopper. Yes, we're going to Burger King. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So. Uh, anyone who did not say Tapu Lele, uh, you're wrong. I looked at his team, I'm like, wow. They did not even give him, they, they didn't even give him a, they didn't even give him a resist. Like, at all. They even give him, and Tangrowth and Battle Factory can't even have Assault Vest. It's just straight up physically defensive. Uh, so I just led Tapu Lele and switches to Mew because he wants to scout and see if I'm Choice Scarf. That's choice specs damage. That joint did 73. Mind you, he does not have a resistance. Uh, he's, uh, he, and he forfeits on turn two. So I don't have anything faster. You can pretty much have this game. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> I said in the chat, yeah, this might be the worst matchup ever. It just was. Uh, I was probably... I was probably more upset with this than he was because I didn't want this... I didn't want this game to go like this, or this set to go like this. I felt like my game one matchup was in my favor. He felt like it was a throw on his end because he thought that uh, Beware was banded, but I felt like I had a pretty good just pull to guys matchup. Uh, but pretty much here. The issue is, uh, I, I saw people try and give counterplay that he could have done. 
here i'll open up the damage calculator for it to put into perspective basically the only counterplay that he could have done here was sack mew go landorus and hope to crit me with earthquake and that's if he's especially defensive landorus especially defensive landorus can live moonblast and it can just crit and kill me from pull but here here uh, for any people thinking yeah he could just went you could try something uh i'm timid as well just just to make it worse uh tangrowth physically defensive is what he got moonblast okay well he could have got the uh six point two percent chance i guess to live and like sleep powder i, I, I guess uh that's a 93.8 percent chance to oko uh how about that mandibuzz oh wait it's weak to berry oh well there's another chance could have lived i guess uh bisharp yeah it's a steel type oh it's also part dark oh it dies to boom blast uh mew the only thing this thing can have is like store power and body press so you can have a 20 power store uh store power on a resist or body press which i four times resist uh you could also go into clefable you know clefable could be very nice here it could definitely be oh it takes 55 and it's a guaranteed two at ko and it does 30 percent back ah lander hysterian all right surely big lander hysterian can do something they kind of still have the wrong spread here no especially defensive oh wow build gets two at ko 87.5 percent of the time uh earthquake yes you can fish for a crit and a guaranteed kill so i said like uh, the only counterplay he could have even possibly had let Mew die, go Landorus, and hope that Earthquake can kill. But there's a good chance that that was, uh, what you call it, that that was Delta Rock Clefable, which would have meant that that could have just been, uh, offensive Landorus, because that was also a, what you call it, a defensive or a default Banda Buzz. I would have been <laughs> would have had a chance to die anyway i would have never kept my lele in against like 1v1 against clef or 1v1 lando either he basically can never play with these three because they all get one shot uh and let me one or two shot all the other three and i have u-turn i have future sight and then not to mention i also had a choice band mail metal so this was just not and also a choice banded uh this sharp this was just not a good matchup. So I ended up winning two turns. So I'm currently 3-0 in the tournament. I went 5-3 and three last time. 5-3 and three again. So I think I could take on Prime Lavos. No. Okay, let's not get it. Let's not get it twisted, people. Let's not get it twisted. Yes. That rage moment. Haha. <laughs> Hilarious. It is. Yes. We reeled ourselves. I don't think he lost like anyone. I think he 2 0 everyone in that tournament until that that happened. Where he got like lucked two times. That was the run. No, I would not be able to beat Prime Lavos. I wouldn't be able to beat Lavos now. I, I heavily doubt it again. I don't have the tournament player mindset. Uh to be able to review games and look at beyond just mistakes even just the game aspect sometimes i still make plays of just i just gotta out predict them but sometimes i forget and you can you know play to play for positioning play because you want to have this chipped and things like that but sometimes i just play like a noob depending on a pokemon uh violet Scarlet. i played them for about maybe like Two, three hours? I haven't played after that. <laughs> I didn't uh, dislike them. I just don't like uh, turn-based RPGs that much. Crazy, I play Pokemon. Uh, but Pokemon Showdown, you have to skip and all that stuff. And ROMs and emulators, very legal, very legal gameplay. You have the speedo button. They're too slow for me, which is why I like playing Genshin Impact because I get to click buttons. But uh turn-based RPGs have never really been for me unless I'm like 10 
old and I like them. Not saying you need to be 10 years old to enjoy them. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that when I was 10, I enjoyed them. But when I'm, I got more of a TikTok brain, like attention span. So now I just kind of don't do anything. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think there is. Uh, this was so, this was so, I played like such a, this is so long ago. I played such a noob. What do I go for a flash cannon for? I'm so, I thought he would go for rocks and slash switch. I'm so stupid. How would he go for rocks? Like, see, that, I look at my games back then. I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, I definitely do have the family guy attention span. Thinking about what to do next. Oh yeah, follow Twitter. Wow, yes, follow Twitter. Very epic, very awesome, very cool. I just gained two followers. Go watch other show on YouTubers. Yeah, I watched Joey and Blunder and Envy pretty much. Tune into Freeze Eye here and there as well. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't know what else to... I don't know what else to do. Uh... I don't know. This is all I was gonna do. Just show some tournament games. Also, I think this video is about to end, so let me see if I can find something else. Guess we get uh, the a beat playlist. Sure. All I was gonna do was do the tournament games and stuff and review those. And show what's happening. Oh, I've been I've been pretty good. Been pretty good. Just been existing, drawing, using Twitter, doing Twitter interaction bait tweets. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I boot up a game and. If I can't find a Battle Factory game in the 20 seconds, I will literally not random battle, please. If I don't find a game, I will literally drink water. Uh, we're not finding a game. Hello, Pokemon Showdown. Okay, very awesome. Uh, we gotta think. What else to do? I wanna see, actually, hold on. I wanna see if I can find... Can I go back and find... Hmm. I don't know. Awesome background. Hey, appreciate it. That was very fun. Battle Factory. Battle Factory. How about we make a team? All right, live team building. When's the Talking Ben collab? Ban. Ban. Your background on Shonen is Bald Goku. Based. All right, Greninja is out. Uh, I guess I can change the title and stuff. Can I change the title? Uh, no, that's okay. I'll just keep it. Same. Oh, okay. So, Greninja has been released to the world. So we're gonna create some Greninja teams. What was Greninja good with in, I think National Dex would actually be the better example, more recent, but Generation 7, I loved using just Greninja and putting a Garchomp, like with it. I mean, it's a very powerful offensive core. 
I had a team where it was like, let me see if I can recreate it from scratch. It was like Greninja, Garchomp, Pinsir. Tan Obviously, these are not in Gen 8, but like it was Tangrowth and it was something last. I think I can type it into Generation 7 OU and find it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it was right here. Wrong, I had Tapofini and Cart. This was fun to use. I think I played Joy with this before I did YouTube, you know? This was, this was fun. This was a fun team to, to use as well. A general orb Tapu uh, Tapu Coco is hilarious. It was so funny. Let me see if I could find. It was a Smog Swords replay that I had, like round two or something. But it was so funny. Like I just, I had the freaking adrenaline orb Coco in the back the entire time and just was ready to. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Yeah, I think I found it. This was like, like round two or something, and uh, this was such a funny like ending to the game. We were just playing normally and stuff, and my entire game plan was weaken that Chansey so that my Coco can come back and uh, do things. Yo, Broccoli's appreciate the two. Thank you for the videos. Thank you for watching. The videos appreciate that a lot uh greninja dark pulse cart sacred sword and chancy's dead sack cart going to grin water shuriken but no instead oh yeah i'm t look at this look at me look at me being cool at the video game this whole end game was Dope. Uh, so I double Sacred Sword. Sack the Deancey. T-Bolt happens. Bring out Greninja. As he sacks Chansey. I double. Or no, no, I don't. I stay in, right? There's no point to. The Crocodile comes out, and then this is where I, this is where I switch out. Crocodile's in. I, uh, that cart back to Greninja. Obviously, uh, it's a Scarf Crocodile, so I'd probably be going for Water Shuriken, right? No, I switched into Top of Coco. I had something far more devious planned, and I think the game pretty much ends right here because I'm calm mine. It's Bolt Beam Latias. I uh, hit a Power Ice. Crocodile comes out. Adrenaline orb, get the speed. And then power ice kill the crocodile. I was not adrenaline orb, I literally lost. This is not my team though. I, I stole this, so. The IP have lost it. I was like, what? Who is this? <laughs> uh, I was like, I stole this from a Gamma game, I think. Corkscrew Crash comes out, kills me. And then Water Shuriken. Very nice. That was that. I mean, this was a very fun team. I wish half of these Pokemon were in the game, so I could even try and recreate this, but you can't really get close to that. I don't think there's anything that has Intimidate anyway. Anything relevant, at least. Let me see. No, there's nothing relevant that has Intimidate, so you can't even... Is Adrenaline Orb even an item in this game? Yeah, it is. It is. Can't even use it, really. So. Grin. Greninja. Uh... I had... Something like this built earlier. Sarah Ledge is a little cringe, but 
I don't know. I do not know. I also had this built. Which specs Iron Moth. Bro thinks he's Chiyu. With a uh, U-turn. Even though T-Spikes is definitely better. Especially with uh, the rest of the team that I have. T-Spikes with Boots is definitely the better set here. Um, I don't know what else to do. I do not know. Do I continue? Do I continue to do this? Do I just make a team real quick or... What else? Oh, a game's going on right now. I'll watch. Teammate playing a game right now. The Aaron profile picture. Uh, custom avatar. It's sick. Watch this. Let's see what happens here. My teammate, let me switch the sides. My teammate is Zap. I think we're like one, two at the moment for this week. Where is it? There we go. Round three. I believe that we're one and two, unless I, am I, am I tripping? I don't know. Are we one and two? I don't know. I'm not been bad. I haven't been paying too much attention. Maybe we're like two and two or something. I don't know. Either way. Oh, talk to tomorrow. Yes, Tim T is very much exposed for his eye. I have done dastardly deeds that have been open to the world. Darnius, we've won. And that that's one fairy reserve uh dead as well. Oh, oh Metagross. Oh I was thinking, hey, only they, they only had Skull of P. They're cooked. <laughs> no. <laughs> Metagross. I'm actually so curious. I'm so curious. I'm going to do this real quick. Don't take this as me turning this into a Genshin. I just want to see. I want to experiment and see. How badly does the it start lagging if I open up Genshin? I'm curious. If I were to stream something, Genshin would not be the game, but it'd be probably closer to like Smash that I would stream. But I'm just seeing, do I watch Villain Saga? Yes, I do. Uh, I watched the most recent episode two days ago, actually. Villain Saga's top tier. Tell us the farmland. Yo, D2 with D2. Can we do a bird team. A bird team. Interesting. Actually, sure. Uh, bird team. So, first off, we have the biggest bird, Mega Rayquaza. Okay. Uh, let's see. What type of birds are we looking at here? strategy here make something that can set up obviously and uh there you go Galler's Aftos okay so let's look at some final gambit birds uh we got Staraptor Billy. oh boy Billy. I want Squawk up Billy because I stay on my hustle. Shano with the 10 Villain Saga gang. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Villain Saga is definitely Winland. Appreciate the 10. Love the videos. A. Hey, thank you. We just got fried by Skull. 
That's a crazy turn. Darnia is doing 29 with a Thunderbolt and taking 50 from a Polytoad Skull. All this. Stuff. Uh, you said Flamingo's lazy? Well, I will be mad. Bombardier sucks. You know, nothing says that Iron Bundle. Not a bird. It may not be a flying type. But watch your jet. Watch your jet. Talon Flame. You know what we need? Lander Starion. That's the biggest bird I've ever seen. Not a bird. Uh. Talon Flame. Right here. Just need some more. I think Talon is the miss. I think Talon Flame is the miss here. Uh. We need something with Delta Rock. Armory would be the best bet. Corviknight would be good for Defog too. You know what? I agree. Flamigo? Mm -mm. Bad. Bad Pokemon. We're gonna do. Alright, so you wanna know the guide. You wanna know the guide to making epic 10 6 team first turn off your brain but final gambit two of these this way skill is minimized uh there you go maximize your hp just put u-turn u-turn uh sure you can go endeavor if you want to that's so pointless because uh, if you're getting set up on, you got Whirlwind, then you got Last Minute Defog. Maximize HP, maximize that, boom, 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 Jolly, boom, U-turn, you want to get a Scarf Taunt off, you want to get a Scarf Parting Shot off, go for it, boom. Corviknight. Now, the strategy to all Temp 16, weakness policy, of course. Can't win a game without using weakness policy, because there's no skill. Go for Power Trip, Bulk Up, Agility. Very awesome stuff. Max out the HP. Why did I just put 248 there? I don't know. Boom, 248 there. This is so complex and complicated. Uh, honestly, you can go even crazier. Say bump the HP and go into Spadef, but I'm not gonna do that. Next, you can't just have it on one Pokemon. You gotta have it on this one. Uh. Bump Thunderous Kick, just go Close Combat, because why not? Bump Acrobatics, just go Brave Bird. But if you're scared, just go Thunderous Kick and Drill, and drill Peck, I guess, if you're scared. Um, uh... You don't really need, like... You can just Double Dance this too this is how you set up these sweeps thoughts on Evangelion have not watched it believe it or not but I've heard it's good our team got fried by the Metagross I feel like I always win when I get Metagross bats. <laughs> uh Iron Bundle I don't know what do you do with Iron Bundle what does it do does he go, does he go spectacles or is he heavy duty boots? What does he do? Just both. Okay. I was trying to get an answer and told me both. So what you're gonna do is give him some spectacles. Now you're gonna give him some boots. You're gonna give him some boots because it's gonna be a little more safe. You turn. Uh, now you go flip turn. Charm. Uh. <laughs> mid 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 mid. Mid, 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 mid. This thing is mid, but it's okay. We'll let it slide for now. Give him some. No, don't give him lefties. Give him a helmet. Give him a helmet. Be counterintuitive. Uh, give him press. Give him some rocks. Give him some defog at the same time. 
Don't ever use Rock Skarmory. Please don't. Please don't use Stealth Rock Skarmory. Just use spe uh, Spikes. But in this case, we're going to put rocks on them because... There. We're going to make them shiny. I don't care. Uh, Terra types. I don't, I don't know. What do you do with these? I'm going to turn this into... I don't think your Terra types are going to... Yeah. There you go. Bird team. Very nice. Very awesome. Bird team created. You can determine the Terra types as you fit. What's happening in the next game? That big Magirna. I approve of it. Bird up, sir. Up. I didn't even notice I had Genshin open. Okay. Let's see what happens. Bunt and appreciate the two. I'm in danger. Live tip 6T voice. Edit clip. There, yes, sir. Exposed himself. Exposed. Ooh, baby Tron's playing right now. Very nice. Not for you, but for me. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Game capture? No. Window capture. Add existing. Genshin. If I go to Genshin right now, how laggy is it? I'm curious. Congrats on your winning stole you counsel. Thank you. Let's see what happens. I'm curious to see how laggy it is. I'm not switching to Genshin right now, but I just want to see. But first, let me switch back over here. While it loads in the background. Oh. Icicle crashed. Clinched ice on the Magirna. How laggy is it? Why is it actually like not bad? It's actually not bad. That's kind of concerning. Obviously, I think it's like 30 FPS. I have everything like super like minimized, but yeah. So Genshin does work, so I can do Genshin if I wanted to at some point. Don't think I'm gonna be doing Genshin right now, but I don't... Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I use Bennett. I was using Bennett on... Here, hold on. The problem is, microphone stand for this broke. So, I like... You think that team... Alright, look. These were randomly generated teams. I would, If I can open up a notepad window... If I get over uh, my notepad window, I randomize my teams, but... Alright, listen. Alright, yeah, y'all are talking trash. Alright, right, look. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Y'all are, yeah, 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 yeah. are talking trash. Alright, come on. Here. I'll, I'll show my actual teams. Hold on. Uh, I don't have my Zhongli leveled up, but yeah. This is what I use normally. Yes, the Bennett's here. Another variation I used of this is Jean with uh, Layla. Jean, I have like Constellation 4, or C6 anyway, but yeah. But I do put like Zhongli in it. And then the other team, Ripple, Ripple Dendro. But these are random teams. I use these teams right here as like random stuff. So I got these all on random. This team is fire. Trust me. Hold on. I need to cook. Hold on. Let me cook. I'm over here trying to play with one hand. Let me try and find a way. The mic stand literally broke. So let me find a way. I've been holding the mic.
That works. I feel like, I feel like my close to the freaking microphone. Hold on. Yes. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> hey, pause. Hold on. Let me cook real quick. What was the team? I don't even remember. It's a random team. It's a randomly generated team. I generate 15 different characters. I put them on. And I... Where is... Here. Let me... Let me cook for a second. Let me cook. Let me see if I put the mic down. There we go. Let me show you. This team can cook with. Uh, it's ran again. It's a randomly generated team. Uh, and boom. Man. Her first five star, I think, was. Pretty sure it was. Okay. Deeds, please, game. Fuck Kokomi. Holy. Kokomi is so. This is why if this was not a random team. Like, it's a random team. Anytime you see this, you gotta uh, you gotta remember it's a random team. So take any of this with a freaking grain of salt, please. Again, there we go. Very nice, very epic. Okay, uh, that's it for that. Look, the randomly generated team again. I had to reiterate that for the 17th time. It's, it's random, it's random. If I play with my actual team, Jesus Christ. I just tried it. I mean, the Abyss just came out, so I was trying it out, but... Here. Back to Pokemon. What's happening here? Um... No. Here's... Oh my god. There's a Dublade as well. Let's just flinch. Got baited. Don't worry. Uh, Saurus Dance. Oh no. We have lost. Okay, well, those are some unfortunate matchups. The Magirna would not have even cooked either if it was the Blade. Dang. Back and we got. That was a pretty unfortunate game. Hold on. There's people that think that I'm just lying about that being random. Okay, trust me. Here, window capture, freaking notepad. Here, my Genshin randomizer. I randomize 15 characters using the little spin the wheel thing, and then I make I make a team. Two teams. So I have to use eight. Seven of them are missing. There we go. And you'll see that's the team that I got there. Where was this? The last time I got a W with. There you go. 
Right there. So stop trying to call my cap. Nahid. Oh, it disappeared. Nahida Bennett, Kokomi, Diona, cause of her official sing show, Mona. Boom. Yes, a notepad. How am I so. How, <laughs> they're random. How am I going to note down the teams, bruh? <laughs> I'm not going to remember 15 characters, bruh. My lack of Kaya. Cool it. No, I don't have. Uh, I don't even have them level up. I have like level 40. There's some characters I have just literally at level 40 still. I don't have Klee and I don't have Yellon because my computer broke when Yellon came out, so I couldn't get her. Uh, but thankfully, she's coming right around the corner. Can I get a game, please, game? Like, come on. There we go. All right. They're pretty high up there. Wow. This is... There's a Ponyard, so this is decent. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I see Mianfu resist is Skrelp. Boy, what is a Skrelp, bruh? Oh, I have him too. Oh, no. This seems like a pretty bad matchup for him, all things considered. Um, uh, I'm gonna just lead with... Olet. There's no ground resist, like, obviously I'm going to get my thing knocked off, which sucks. If I go for, damn, I punched this earthquake. I mean, there's no, again, there's no ground resist. But let's go for the funny move. Okay, the scarf as well. Very nice. All right. That happened immediately. Me and Fu. Come in. I jump kick. Boom! Super smoked. Super smoked. Engine audio still playing. Yeah, Genshin audio still playing. I was thinking that. Here we go. Hippopotas. Hippopotas has arrived. Uh, Mianfu's health is still moderately important, so I'm just gonna U-turn into Grookey as the rocks go up. This guy's been tryharding, so I'm just going to Grassy Glide. He's been tryharding, so he's probably going to stay in. But in reality, you should definitely switch here. Yeah, what am I talking about? You should definitely always switch here. I'm going to go for a uh, U-turn. Scrub comes out. Bro, this Pokemon's so goofy. Thing is, Scrub is not that much of a... Like, high effort... Or like a high risk play because I think I am forced forcing. I'm forced to uh stay in here. Yeah. I have Thunderbolt. Oh, let's see. How much does Thunderbolt do? Oh. I mean dead. All right. Yeah. You're dead, brother. Does uh 20, 22, I mean you should just die. It wasn't a poniard and takes far too much damage for his own good. Uh it knocks off my berry juice. I'll kill it. I think that was a bad play by me. I should have went into Mianfu, but I thought he was gonna iron head the Mianfu because that made Nah, nah, because you iron head this and you let it hit the berry juice. So yeah, I actually just went me and Fu. Either way. My Grookey's looking decent. The issue is going Grookey weakens my drill burr. Rain's over on this turn. I'm just gonna go for agility in case this guy has a stroke and clicks the wrong move. He does not have a stroke, unfortunately, for me. So gotta go into the Grook. Big Grookey, Big Grookey. I'm just gonna go for Grassy Glide. Pro Gunk comes in. That joint did nothing. Okay, big damage. 
I gotta pivot into Skrelp. This is the goofiest, but I never thought I would say the word Skrelp this many times. This one was so stupid. I hate Skrelp. You've heard it here first. Why am I going into Skrelp? This is Wall by Krogunk. So stupid. Um. Yeah, I'm really stupid. Wow. I'm really dumb. I gotta go into Drill Burr. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like dangerously dumb. Let's go for spin. I'll get up rocks. Because he gets up rocks. And I'll spin again. Very pointless play by my opponent. He earthquakes me for a huge 26%. I'm going to earthquake and critical hit him. Alright, I think my opponent has lost his marbles. What is, what is he doing? Goes in a star you. I think I'm just going to... Let me see. Battle. Factory. Are you? I'll see. It's so hard to type this with freaking one. Uh, it's called... It could be T-Bolt. But it could also be Thunder Wave. Let's see how much Skrelp takes. This is the reality of playing Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. It's very slow. Not Skrelp on Skrelp action. We're looking at Skrelp versus Staryu. T-Bolt from Skull and Rocks? No, it's not enough. I would like to preserve my Drill Burr. He went for a spin. This guy is a genius. I'm going to go for a Sludge Wave. Days in. Why? Why? Why, though? What did he stay in for? He has a Skrelp, which walls... Skrelp? Okay, walls is not... Insanely accurate, but... Either way. Gonna take a big Hydro Pump there, but... Drillbird is gonna be able to come out. Go for Earthquake. This is going to force back in the Staryu. Infu, just let me Infu die. Let just let me Infu die. He should let the star you die so he can get in crow gunk. But my counterplay to that is to go for U-turn. So if he does go to Kroger, I get to go to Drillbur. If he goes for a cover on just expecting himself to die to Grassy Glide, I can keep stalling out my Grassy Terrain turn. So I'm going to go for U-turn. And what this lets me do is find out if this is... Uh, thund uh, Thunderbolt or not? Not. Now it's all up to Kroka. The game is over. I've lost. Skrelp cannot do it on its own. Yeah, the game should be over. I shouldn't be able to win this from here. Pretty sure I'm dead too. Vacuum Wave, yeah. El Drillbur. GG. This is just not... Not good Krogunk. What is a Skrelp, bro? I just I, I just learned what that Pokemon was today. Finish your homework? Big W. When did you get the L? When, when did the L come? That, that had to... That forced you to start on the homework. Nah, Skrelp sucks. I don't know why we both had it. I don't think there was any position that I could have gotten there at the end where I would have won. Because I couldn't go... What you call it? 
I couldn't have Drillbur in against Staryu, which means I would have needed to have uh, Grookey or Skrelp in against Krogunk by default, or against Staryu. And if I kill the Staryu ever, that means I have to let Krogunk come in for free. Yo, Henry K with the 19, appreciate it. With a little sticker too, a little, little winky sticker. Appreciate that a lot. W profile picture too. Ever do Nuzlocks? Yeah, actually, that was what I used to do at the very start. This is a... Eh, this is all right. Hi. Big fan. Big Rotom fan. Thanks. I'm the pinnacle of comedy. I'm gonna lead with uh This is really this is a, such an awkward team. Shell Smash, Belly Drum, Belly Drum. When will you upload? Don't know. I'm gonna lead with Delmise. Uh sure, I don't know. Uh, either way, I need this weaken. So I'll take this damage. I know is decent here, unless it's itemless vile plume. Appreciate that gamer tag. I actually did do a Pokemon Shadow on Nuzlocke, which is crazy. Believe it or not. At this point, I mean, you could go to Grimmsnarl and be aggressive, but that's big damage on Grimmsnarl. So it could be itemless vile plume. Let's see. No, it's not. It's Black Sludge. So that's pretty good for me. I can go to Escavalier here, I think. Does Overcoat block Strength Sap? I don't think it does. I actually did a Pokemon Shadow Nuzlocke. Maybe I should put that on the screen. Let me find it. No, I haven't opened up YouTube Studio in a month. I'm about to get bombarded with L analytics, everything going downwards. So what happens if you don't upload. Uh... Uh, let's look up Nuz Lock. Battle Factory Metagross. Let's go with Metagross. Uh, are you, I think? Lefties, lefties, Garf, Bandit. found it. I found it. It's the Nuzlocke that I did. That only did 88. Jesus. L Pokemon. Go for another knockoff, though. Metagross is not beating this Cavalier. Maybe I should react to this. This is, uh... I don't know how long ago this was. Let's see. Let's open up the video. 24%. The unlisted or private video. I don't know which one it is, but... Take a dive into Temp 60 lore. We saw Temp 60 Fortnite, Temp 60 Genshin Impact. You gonna play it again? Hey, sounds good then, Rowlet. Don't burn me, don't burn me. Nice, good knockoff. Let's go Megahorn. Okay, the video's playing in the background. Hold on. How long ago was this? February 8th, 2021. So two years ago. Jesus. That's nasty to say out loud. This video was two it's two years old. How I speed ran a Pokemon Shell Nuzlocke. I'll put this on screen right after this game. Hold on. Ella B. Ella B. In Smy, a Scavalier. My Braves fan. I don't really watch baseball, but being from Georgia, I'm gonna have to be. I feel like I'm uh, legally obligated. <laughs> Not a Falcons fan, but uh, 
Appreciate y'all tuning in. This is such a random show. I don't stream often, but... When they become commonplace, sink a common practice, then... We can get some more folks up in here. Are you late? You... Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Uh, we did the tournament review earlier, but, uh... Yeah, these all the way over here. But you might be able to go back into the stream. I don't know. Gavalier is kind of going crazy. Grimmsnarl can come out. I was about to say. <laughs> I said it and then it appeared. Grimmsnarl can come out and kill me. I don't have a switch in. That Vile Plume is at 65. I don't think that's enough for a... Uh... Or puff. It might be. I'm looking at it. Okay, it definitely is. Those are superpower though. Uh what does Grimmsnarl use? What's up, hello hi? I don't know how to greet you. I was about to say hi, and then I was gonna also say hello. And then your name was also hello hi, so I did not know what to say. Uh, it's Adamant Grimmsnarl. Lurpuff simply does not get the job done. But I have so much of like a matchup advantage here. I don't know if I care. Either way. Grim. Not that set. Wallbreaker. And I can go into a cloister and just icicle spear. That's exactly why. Oh, you're a troll. I see. You're a troll. Go for icicle spear. I don't need the shell smash. Uh, yeah. That Jesus Christ. Thirty. You ever seen an unboosted cloister icicle spear do that much to something? Let's go! Let's go! Big cloister! Unfortunately, I don't think I have a water move, so... Felix actually is gonna... be a pain. Okay, well no it's not. I lied. Felix is not going to be a pain. Because... my opponent something different in mind. Vile Plume. Have ever tried to Pokemon Ron Hack? Yes. For a video, I haven't, but... Heavy Slam. Yo, welcome, Stuggy. That actually did a lot of damage. <laughs> that Icicle Spear. Uh, and I think I'll go into Slurpuff and punch him in the face. Punch. All right, Falcon Punch to end that. Now look at this. This right here is an old, old video of mine. This is a two year old video. This is a two year old video. I don't want to adjust the freaking camera. Not the camera, the OBS is zoom. So I'm going to like zoom out. This is a two year old video right here of a Pokemon Showdown Nuzlocke that I did. I'm gonna skip the cringe intro. But basically the idea was, I randomize and get stuff. Let me mute the other you know, video. There we go. Let me put the headphones on. I can actually listen to what I'm talking about. Hemp face reveal. Oh, this is two years old. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's put the headphones on. He leads with uh, more Pico. Well, I've got a nasty plot. Do I sound much different from Already back then? Already a bad matchup. Oh my god, he's talking at the same time as I am. And okay. It's not exactly like getting a more Pico is the greatest. So basically, I get a Pokemon and I have to play, and if I lose all my Pokemon, I die. World, but I get a random kill, Pokemon. If this can do 100%, that is amazing. It's faster. <laughs> I gotta reset the run again. We gotta start over with the Stunjourner. Let's go. 
Oh, let's go. We gotta keep oh, up the pace. Oh, music change. Okay, W music change. Johnson eighty six. This guy's name is Big Easy Johnson eighty six. Like Come on, temp. Don't be washed. What does he lead with? Why am Why am I still keeping that in the video? Why did I skip the beginning of the video or the beginning of the battle? But I stayed on that. All right, missed Stone Edge and died. Not exactly another victory. So immediately, Rampok FV. Draco Zolt. Now that's a good pick. That is a good pick. With Draco Zolt, I don't think it was a good pick. Yeah, better than Mike now for sure. Yeah. Very, very important Pokemon. Back then, I have the mic, uh, the headset mic down on an old headset to too. I don't know if I still use that. We'll see. Okay, yeah. So let me explain it further. I only need to get one kill. As soon as I get a kill, it's the same as catching the Pokemon. And once I get the team of six, I have to win the battle with the team of six that I quote unquote catch all of the Pokemon with. And if that Pokemon dies, then it's dead forever. I can't use it in the next battle. So I just need this guy to let me get fill the Ferrothorn. That was a oh my god. Ah, I feel so bad for that. That was so cringe. Oh my god. Everyone, please just leave the stream for that. Old Tim60 was so cringe. We killed the Ferrothorn. Yes! At this point, it's like running into a wild Pokemon and then you catch it. The battle ends. So the rest of the events that play out here are irrelevant. Just leave, leave, leave. Please. What happens here? You don't stay in here. He stayed in. He stayed in. He's insane. This was actually really dope. I had Sandstorm on this so I could boost this freaking Draco Zolt. He actually stayed in with the Swampert. I thought he was going to switch because, you know, that makes sense. It actually lived. It did 99%. Oh, no, it didn't die. And then he fried my oh, we lost our <laughs> But I get the Sand Rush speed boost. Okay, well, we lost our Ferrothorn immediately. Oh, and then died. Okay, wow. I seem to be in pure despair at the bottom. We lost everything. Oh. Please. Ooh. And... Mantine Tapu Coco. What is he cooking? Brother went for nature's madness with an electric type against <laughs> Mantine. Whoa. No way. Such an old video. Did we just get a Tapu Coco? Thousand? Yes, I liked it. Oh, exposed. Yeah, I liked it. Yep, the title does say showdown. Trend by OP. Mantine, please. My hydro pump missed. Yes. Let's go. We're not making it fast. We're not making it far. And he went to Skarmory of all Pokemon. Just land the Ice Fang. Oh, I had a new team. More Pico. Go, go. Okay, kill it. Is that a kill? Did we kill it? Well, obviously, do you, you know you Let's did. Let's go. We won, right? Let's go. Okay, we caught. Who died first? I Dragon. So the battle already ended. We stay alive with our Morpico. <laughs> I wanted to win this so bad. I was like, look, look. I died. Oh, crap. Fat Fighter. No. Fat Fighter. Oh, I said the same thing. Why did I fight I'm you? Fighting you. I, okay. All right. So I really am the same person as I... I really am Temp 6T. That's crazy. We both said the exact same thing. I don't want to fight this guy. Come on, man. Wait, I'm sub loose. Oh my god. <laughs> same reaction, same house, same chair, same shirt, same glasses, same headset, oh, same same person. Give me the Dragapult anyway. Just, just let me tail this Dragapult, please. Thank you. All right, we made it out. We made okay, it out. so we get a Dragapult. Yeah, instantly leave. Get the Dragapult. Good, good. Just go wow, our entire team got wiped. Oh my god. Everything got wiped. How fitting the right, sad music everything. is playing. I think this is just a live music <laughs> playlist too, so. Yes, there I were definitely a lot of stages like of grief. Go. What if he goes e first? This guy is so rude. This guy saw a one Claydol on my team and he decided to lead with Heatran. I don't have a ground move. And I didn't have a ground move on. The one time that they decided to go Heatran. <laughs> I'm so bad. 
don't tell me I lose my fight all to the trend. Please don't tell me that. Imagine if he just crits me and I die. Oh, he went for a taunt. He had something very different in mind, I guess. These noobs in their freaking swampers, man. Stop using swamper, please. Noobs. A recommendation for me to use. Tim 6T? Toxic? Tim 6T exposed? 2021, two years ago, different man. He just called someone a noob. All right, that's it, Tim 6T. I'm taking to Twitter right now. You are canceled. You just called this guy a noob? How dare you? You're the noob, I think. Look at you. Epic. So Clay all died, but we captured the Swamper. Doo -doo. That is definitely not the set that I'm using. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hold up. Oh, wait. Hey, 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 hold up. Hey, hold up. Look, Volcarona hit him with eruption. Oh, with eruption. Oh, he died. Well, okay. I think the song's gonna end. We won a game. We won a game. Let's very, go. very hype. I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the Ooh. best Pokemon Ooh. showdown. Ooh. That was like speedrunner. I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm the best. Yes. Simple as that. Rick Rada stands defeated. This is a crazy. This is a crazy video comp set. Uh, I'd love to actually do this again. Beam him immediately. This video had 59 views. No hesitation. Two years ago. Isn't that crazy? I need him to stay in here because otherwise I kind of just lose. Yes. We got the Chinchino. Chinchino secured. Ooh, we're fighting three starters. And then Chinchino goes off. Let's go, Chinchino. Absolutely off in this. Do I lose to an Electabuzz? <laughs> Bro pulled up with an Electabuzz. <laughs> What's Bro doing? Just kill it, man. Just, just do it. It's okay. You have a Charizard, a Volcarona, and Atran. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that did. 65% with a life orb technician tail slap against the. Oh my god, he's select the buzz? Why is that doing so Yo, this Pokemon's bad. trash. Heracross. Heracross comes in, he's dead. Why did it do more damage to the Heracross than it did to the Electabuzz? Okay, so we get a. We, okay, we got a Heracross. So. Final team. We just need to win. That's literally it. It's as simple as literally winning with this team. I guess, uh, yeah, Heracross has, like, no right, defense. So, damn, man had a Violite. None of our Pokemon have died on our journey catching six bonds. So we Leave it to me on the, tar on the time I finally get a full team of six to fight Landorus, Spectriator, and freaking Urshifu. I'm pretty sure that's, like, the base one to, like, the dark type game. one. Now, well, Back when all these were legal. Win this game. That is the end of the run. That is end. That is the end of the run. That if I could finish this with like maybe like forty minutes left, let's see. It's very fair. Oh, it was a water one. Okay. Unfair. How fair that was. All right, Swampert, the boss. Oh my Jeez, God. Man. Our first victim. Maybe he can. Okay, Chinchino. Oh no. Is not gonna eat these well. Yes, it is, buddy. <laughs> I said I was not gonna eat this well. That they took 12%, bruh. <laughs> I need to put some respect on Toxapex's name. What was I thinking? <laughs> Two year old Temp was thinking differently. I said, oh, it's not gonna take this well. Uh, actually, <laughs> that thing took. I stand nothing. corrected. Okay. But... I was like, yeah. Damn, I don't think it's gonna take it this well. It, it literally no damage. I'm for Tailwind. This dude's a cheater, bro. Get the KO. He gets to go to her again. This man's a cheater. This man had Tailwind. Are you kidding me? Don't I just lose That's to Surging Strikes? Three sacks. Let three Pokemon die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just lose. <laughs> this man had Tailwind Surging Strikes. This is not a real... It's not a real team. It's not a real player, bro. 
This is a temp 60 opponent. Why did I not let the Volcarona die so I could burn okay, so it? Art, you gotta click Earthquake here, man. You gotta do enough damage to put him in Volcarona Psychic range. He should be in range now for sure. 25. Uh, Urshifu's not known for a special bolt. Now it's all up to whether or not he has a rock move. And if he does, then we just lost everything. It makes no difference. Man, Volcarona, please! <laughs> what the heck? Her eyes suck. Look at the pure despair. This is a man that has an O. W drama? So dramatic. I was cooking back then. Yeah, that was actually pure despair. <laughs> Troll despair. Force and despair. Bro said attract. Well, work on me though. Big Garboder. Oh, you're done. Just stay in. Oh, he goes Latios. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Latios lose 1v1 to a Ninetales? Jesus Christ. That thing took 52 from my choice specs weather ball. Hmm. Ain't no way, bro. Just let the Latios die. Hey, yo, man. What's up with me getting Volcaronas? Adarine. I'm such a cheater. What was that? What? This guy timed out and I said, oh, we got a Togetic. I'm such a cheater. Jesus Christ. You're one game away. You're one game away from getting the dub. Shut up, cheater. And it all rests on this Togetic. Oh, shut up, cheater. That guy didn't even battle with his Togetic. He led with it. Versus OMG, it's Cheery. Togetic looks absolutely garbage in this game, but it does help versus Togetic. How does this wait? Do I, this guy has... How am I even supposed to win this? This guy has a Tapu Koko and a Alolan Raichu. My electric resist is Latios. Boom. It doesn't look terrible. It just loses to the two electric types. And I don't have an electric resist. I've seen all my videos in shorts. Yeesh. I definitely do need to upload again. Oh. W song? Look. Oh. Okay. This B goes crazy. Hold up. Immediately allow him to Hold up. I... Oh, why Look. Look. Not like you. Right back to the future. Yeah, we whipping them a ride on. Oh, you a python. Bad. Turn tail and your life gone. Ooh. Yeah, we're just Use flash and turn the lights on. Song ended. What am I doing? Da 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 what is Togetic supposed to do here, bro? Volcarona. Why am I thinking of saving it? This thing does it nothing. Easily. It can happen. Togetic supports the team more than nine tails does, I think. It paralyzes it anyway. Ow! Well, I guess Crocodile. Whatever. Whatever, G. I guess I'll just go for Overheat in case he tweaks and clicks U-turn. Like, if he has a stroke in his hand and accidentally clicks U-turn. ba da ba 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 what was I doing? Was I talking to someone? Yes, I definitely was. Fifty-three. Yes, do it. Look at me, so goofy. Look at me over here thinking, bro. I ain't thinking of nothing. <laughs> I'm not thinking of I'm not thinking a thing down there. What am I doing? <laughs> I look so goofy. Uh, if I get a Jesus. Like <laughs> bro think he's he a philosopher. He's not thinking a single thought. <laughs> bro has a Volcarota and he's pretending like he's thinking at all. 
the charge. 57 minutes on the clock. Can we one shot this tornadoes? Yes, yes it's can. in the sun. Plus two. What's the play, man? What's the pledge, Shiri? Uh, Knock it off. You're not doing it's all coming back to me. Basketball. This is the victory theme. Oh, me. What are you doing? You're just donating Tapu Coco. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to cook this bird. You ain't the thinker. <laughs> Bow. Damn, a man of now, fortune. For a fact that and Jay must right. seek his fortune. First. Henry Avery's. <laughs> Victory music. This is it. Feels dank, man. This is it. We're faster. Okay. Okay. Now win. Oh, he forfeited. See that forfeit? Yes. I am the best Pokemon showdown Nuzlocker of all time. I, I'm, I'm the only one of all time. Unless someone's done it. But at that moment, I was the only one. There was no one else that did, that did this. W video. All right. Old Temp gets a W in my books. That's why I left a like on my own video. Because it was a W video. This was... So whatever that was, that was two years ago. It's February 8th, two years ago. It had 59 views. I have my Twitch in the description. Hashtag speedrun. Hashtag Nuzlocke. Hashtag Pokemon Showdown. I was going crazy back then. I used to live stream to zero, one viewers. Upload videos to double digit views, single digit views. And I did this for such a long amount of time. Uh. So, you know, just be patient. If you ever want to start content creation, don't get discouraged if your numbers aren't like just popping off in your first video or your first video, first few videos for months. Literally just going to zero viewers. And it was, I used to literally have to go do the dishes. I would keep the stream going. I think it was like a melee stream or something I was doing. And I had the CPUs play instead. What are the recommended videos? We got this is Jeff. We got Slice. Jin Hoshino. Great song. XQC. Kanye West with the Teriyaki Boys. This is a great song. I want to play like. I'm gonna copyright in like the first like a little bit. This is such a great song. Yes, Kanye. It's such a great song, but yeah. Yes, I still listen to Kanye. Don't care. Immediately copyrighted and banned. Uh, what was this? Uh, I think because I typed in the Sonic music, so it's more Sonic music and it's Pokemon music. That's the stream. Totally not Mark. Uh, I watch him sometimes. This Mob Psycho review. What was he cooking? Baby Tron. And Nairo MK, why is Teal trying to end my Iron Man run? Yeah, that's my YouTube recommended. So, XQC, XQC stream good today. I don't know, actually. I think I, I think I watched the earliest part of it. Let's see. I'm sure if I open up Twitch, my thing is going to explode. My stream is going to explode. Uh, how long did he stream today? Was it a short stream? You know, my viewers like hate XQC. They despise him. It's, it's crazy. I would like tweet out like a clip. And be like, you know, this guy seems like the most insufferable human on the planet. I'm like, gee, yo, yo. Um, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I mean, he's kind of kind off the rocker sometimes, but y'all like. SpongeBob. All right, I know what I'm watching later. He's why he watched some SpongeBob. I see Mario 64. Got the daycare running, so I gotta watch some SpongeBob. Uh, more SpongeBob. Okay, gotta watch some. Definitely gotta watch some later. So I think that's gonna be it. We've been going for two hours. Uh, I don't have much else in my brain that I'm thinking of doing. It's always this the Twitter. Uh, I asked what Mega Pokemon I should draw. I think I'm going to do Volcarona. Uh, Hydreigon and Dragonite. For Mega Pokemon to draw. So maybe I can do that as a stream. Use the bird team. That's a good idea. 
roster. We'll do a game with the bird team. Real quick. It's gone. There's no national decks. Anything goes. It's over. It's Jover. They have finally canceled Temp 60. Generation A or whatever, National Dex, anything goes, has been removed. It's Jover. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's just gone. That's crazy. They got tired of that. I think you could still like challenge people to it. It's done. Let's look at one more thing. Let's look at one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. My t famous team. This is my not famous at all. And nobody knows about this. But this is a team I made back in the day. This was before uh, the ABR hyper offense, which looks fairly similar with superior Zard and Volcarona. This is a team that I made back in Generation 7 OU. This is 2019. And it had a uh, Roost, Dragon Dance, Fly Z, Dragonite. They're all named after Nin types. So this was very obviously like I just watched Hunter x Hunter. So sorry, sorry, Hunter Hunter, Hunter Hunter, Hunter Hunter. Not Hunter X. Sorry. Don't kill me, please. I typically do say Hunter Hunter, but I just did slipped out that time. Please don't chastise me. Uh, but I use this. There is this Fire Punch Dragon Rush Zard. Very bad. Very comically bad, but it worked. I've flinched several Pokemon that should beat Charizard with Dragon Rush. I flinched a Quagsire, and I flinched a Mega Slowbro, uh, which is hilarious. It's like the best of both worlds of getting Outrage kills. The kills that people use Outrage for over Dragon Claw. While not being locked in, except you miss. Oh, you about to pick up. Okay. You about to pick up Violet. I think I grabbed both, and I think I played Violet. A big W, though. That's a big W. We got four attacks, Tapu Bulu with Life Orb. A Choice Scarf Superior. A lead. Landris with a uh, defog and uh, and rocks. Basically, this thing never lets the opponent get up rocks on my team because I have a Charizard, a Dragonite, and a Volcarona. I don't want rocks on my side. I'd rather never have rocks on my side than the opponent have rocks on their side. So, and then I have Aya Papa Berry Volcarona. This was the team that I used back in 2019. I climbed to. 2000 elo on the ladder except it wasn't 2000 it was 1990 but that's 2k in my books simply that's 2k in my books uh let me see if i can find it i'm and i made an entire like super essay about this team There it is. I made a super, super post about this team on uh, Smogon. It was, it was a dope team. I had damage calcs. Let's see what I said about this Charizard. This features an extremely unorthodox set. I experimented with Charizard set the most. It's very epic. This initial moveset featured Flare Blitz and Roost over Fire Punch and Dragon Rush, respectively. Then I tried out Outrage. Outrage forces Charizard to become locked in. <gasps> no. Which makes it extremely easy to revenge kill. I did not want that. <laughs> Why did I type this like so epically? Like, <laughs> what was my deal? <laughs> I gave Dragon Rush a shot under the logic that most players would choose Focus Blast or Aura Sphere. I wanted that extra power and I'm willing to sacrifice accuracy. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I got videos of soundtracks you can listen to when you watch it 
Uh, and then, of course, I guess the second strangest thing would be the Landa. In every matchup, you want to lead Landris. You fight lead Exodrill, Rock Tomb immediately. If they offer Rock Tomb, KO it. They get up Stealth Rock, Defog on their Rock Tomb or Toxic, proceed to KO it. The objective of keeping off hazards in your field is more important than having none of the opposing. Okay, very awesome. So this team, and I got to 1990, and then it was tragic. It was very tragic. I felt pure despair in my heart when the Pokemon on the other side of my field was an Excadrill, but there was also a Gigalith. And it had gravity. And look at my team against that. I think I didn't have the version 2 version of that. I think I might have had a Magirna one or something. And it was a choice banded Excadrill with sand. And it set up gravity. So it's faster than my entire team. And it obliterated everything. Woke Cage, aware, aware, Woke Cage, aware. It was very sad. And then I tilted, and I didn't get to 2,000. But I still put 2,000 anyway. Well, I didn't put it in the title, but I put 2,000 anyway. Yeah. And then I typed another essay about this, and then I got three replies. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even ended up rating the team, bro. They just was like, yeah, epic team. This is very cool. But nobody, like, actually... Yeah, it was RoboPoke who was using it. It was very sad to go out bad like that. This was fun though. Let me click on like a random one. Player one 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 one. Okay. Rock tomb earthquake kills me with a Q turn. Fire blast. Stone edge. Okay. Horn leech the Ferrothorn. Superpower the Ferrothorn as I dodge thunder wave. Kill it. Very awesome. Heracross comes in, kills me. It's regular Heracross, of course, is a Sam. Mega, my Zard, Flare Blitz, Dragon Rush, Slanderous Dodges, Superior Dodges, Stone Edge, Leaf Storm, Leaf Storm, Leaf Storm, Leaf Storm, and that's the, the game. Why? Wait, what? Scarf. I was like, why am I fast there? I'm Scarf, I'm Scarf, I'm Scarf. I don't even know my own team. Yes, it's me, Tempering, back in the day. I made the name Tempering. Because I wanted to name myself Temp because I like the color. Very nice color. That was literally the entire reason. I wanted the I wanted a short name and I wanted the color. So I named myself Tempering because it would shorten to Temp. <laughs> that's that's the epic origin story. That's the epic origin story. Uh so I had to like reset this account. Made in it. June 17, 2012. I was not using. Yo, what's up, Typey and Giratina? That was, uh, that was back in the good old days of me being somewhat decent at the game. Video unavailable. This video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated. Anka W? Yeah. Yeah. Up in here. Lost. Uh, I play National Dex Ubers. No, the only things I've played on Pokemon Shadow in the past, uh, maybe like three, four months have been, uh, Battle Factory. Arthritis, the peak, the Pichu. Let's see. Why did I just click that? Oh my God. Take like 18 years for this to load. There we go. Okay. Do I still have arthritis? Shoe. Yes, I do. Still right here. With Ace, David, Canvex, Arthritis, Dylan, and OTK. Member team two. For people who are members, got to recommend teams. Iron Man. This was actually a video idea that I had. Iron Man, where I would play. I have this whole thing set. I could still do this now. Uh, I was going to try and win with all 151 Pokemon in a row. It's definitely possible. The higher you go, you just make the team better and better. Uh, that way, I mean, it's the bottom of the ladder. It's not like they're like, not like you're fighting the most spectacular opponents. You know, 
So this was def definitely doable. I think I got unlucky early on. It's definitely doable. You start off with all the garbage Pokemon, but you have one that can just like sweep. Like in this case, I think it was Jinx. Uh, something that can just pretty much sweep. Nidorino was actually huge. I wonder if I can... Hmm. I wonder if I can find it. I don't think I can, because I don't even remember the name. I think it was like Kanto Nuzlocke 5 or something. Kanto Iron Man 5 or something like that. But I definitely do want to do this again. Because this was fun to do. Fun to, I made all of these teams. I made all of these teams, and I haven't even made the video <laughs> with it. Uh, winning with all 151 Pokemon in a row. I would need to get some momentum back on the channel to upload them. A video like this like i wouldn't do this as like a comeback video because it's so different from the norm you know it could be a more tim 60 video as well but that channel doesn't exist anymore <laughs> ah 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 okay i think that's about it yeah here's this team with the lechonk where i battled against council member it was endeavor thief covet yawn uh, I also had a Wooper variant over the Quagsire, but I'm very glad that I didn't. I'm very, 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 very glad that I did not do that. Uh, because fighting Annihilate would have been so much harder. I didn't use any of the Ben. So, I stole this team. I stole the original. I'm a team stealer. What can I say? I can't build teams. The heck? What is this? I don't know what that is, but... Welcome back, Joker. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of one last piece of content to do. One last piece of content. Is there anything else that I want to do? Yeah, Baller finished his homework. Let's get one more game. All right, one more game. Random teams. They gave him... What? Bro, his team looks real. Except for the Clefable. They gave me T-Tar, Calyrex. Calyrex's not bad, but, like, it's actually good in this matchup, too. Uh. Okay. This is definitely doable. This is definitely doable. Okay. So, as far as leads go, I definitely feel most comfortable leading with... Uh... Well, first, let me get the calc open and find out. Eh. Eh. Big Cali. Uh, the lead of Veltal. We'll just go straight into Titar. Titar could switch pretty comfortably into all of Veltal. It's just not going to appreciate them U-turns, you know? Yo, Six Slaughter with the 10. First time seeing you live. Long time fan. Much love, brother. I appreciate it. This guy doubles into Necrozma. Wise move. Appreciate the support a lot. Big 10. I got to go to Giratina. This is Iron Head coming my way. Uh, I mean, Clef is going to come out. Or not. Okay, a Veltal comes out. That's big for me. Getting that Wisp is big. Because I don't have to worry too much about those non-gobs anymore. Uh, throw for rocks. Clef comes out. What does Clefable do? Having this. Shadow is definitely better than Ice. By a pretty good margin, too. It's the simple fact that if you use Ice, you can't use Shadow as well. That's another factor. So, because you can't. It's Species Claws. What do they give Clefable in this? Just Moonblast, the uh, standard, somewhat standard set. Uh, my T-Tar can be decent for taking a Zekrom hit. So I think I'll preserve it.
This could be a hard uh Calyrex switch. My band is pretty good, but look, I mean, he doesn't have an ice resist except for Necrozma, so I'm gonna hard. I'm gonna hard Calyrex. The teens are random, yeah. I'm gonna hard Calyrex because the rock should go up. They're gonna go to Necrozma. This is still gonna do some pretty big damage. <laughs> that did 71. All right, I'm clicking it again. Is the cross was still faster than me, but like no investment? It is. Ew. Lally Rex. This thing. Okay. Well, I'm going to Veltal. I meant to really click Lunala, but we'll knock off. Yeah, I, I really meant to go into <laughs> into Lunala, but we'll go into Pex now. Uh, this is going to force them to heal, probably. Yeah, which lets me go back into Calyrex. Go for another Glacial Lance. They're faster. Now I'll actually go into Lunala. I did not want to go into Eveltal. I wanted to go... Okay, I died. Seems that that was not the play. Uh, but either way. I'm going to double into Calyrex now. Yeah. How often? Not often. It's impossible to come across them often. They're not as common. You just see them. It's like confirmation bias. You just see them in a video and you, just, you figure it's common, but... Half the time, it's probably a person that's like, hey, it's it's him, I'm gonna... I've had people, I, I wish I could pull up replays, I've had people that'd be like, hey, like, they're about to win against, like, my gimmick strat or something, and they're like, yo, I'll forfeit right now or, so, or I'll start throwing. You can put me in the video. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> Bruh. Uh, that did no damage. However, uh, this is a weird problem. I'm going to go straight for knock. I get rid of the life orb. Groudon comes in. Yeah, this was better than going for healing move, but I also could have went for toxic, but if they stayed in and went for another spectral thief for some reason, uh, it could have been bad. I have to go to Giratina now. So they Dragon Tail me out into Calyrex, which is not good for me. This team is so bad. <laughs> I gotta go back into Giratina and die. We dodge, which is great for me. Is this Groudon also Stealth Rock? If it is, then, then I mean, there's not much I can do in this matchup. We'll see. It is. It's also Rocks. There's not much I can do here. I just gotta die. Oh, we live. Okay. He didn't go for Rocks, which is weird. I feel like going for Rocks was a little more worth it than sending my Calyrex to 3%, but... I mean, how am I beating Zachrom anyway, you know? What is the best team I've made? The one I was talking about earlier. Uh, I have it. This team I was talking about earlier. I think this is my best team. I mean, the results. It's a very just hyper offense team, you know? It doesn't take... Hyper offense and Gen 7 doesn't take too much brain power to use. But objectively speaking, I got the highest rank with this team. So... Not the highest rank of the time, but my highest personal rank. Yo, what's up, Orphan? What's up? That was the highest rank I got. It was 1990 with this team. I have all the different variants of them. Favorite shiny? I have no idea. Uh, is a Veltal guaranteed to have U-turn? 
Okay, there's nine. There's nine movesets. It's not guaranteed. He would have used it if he had it. I'm going to cover the Necrozma by going into Veltal and going for Knock. Do I Knock or do I go for Home Claws? I think if I play this aggressively, I have to go for Home Claws, right? Nah, 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 nah. That's unnecessary. They did 31. Battle Factory, they pick a random format and they give you random Pokemon based on that format. And uh, that's how that goes. Zekrom. Pokemon's unfair to get. <laughs> Yo, Sig with the 20. I didn't play Pokemon since Gen 3. Found your channel and bought a Switch. P started playing uh, Sword and mainly use gimmicks. Helped me learn competitive. Just hit Master Ball tier. A. that is huge. I'm actually pretty glad that my content could do that. Hey, that is act that's really dope. Oh man, that, that's actually really cool. Appreciate the twenty. I'm glad to see people enjoyed uh, even games like Sword and Shield too. I don't know how to win this. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Do I just go for? Like if I switch, right? If I switch and he goes for Dragon Dance, I lose. If I go for Sucker Punch and he goes for Substitute, I lose. So I think I knock off, yeah, on the Dragon on the Dragon Dance. Boom, nice eighty, and he's out of a uh, Substitute range, but he's in Roost range and he's Life Orb, meaning he would be Roost. Which means I don't go for Sucker Punch because he could Roost. And if I die, it's fine. Because I go to T-Tar. And with T-Tar, I go for Rock Blast. I die. I go to Pex. I cry. Go to Giratina. Star Wolf with the five. Appreciate it. Keep it up. Ooh. When did YouTube add all these little special stickers and stuff? He does not die, so it seems I've lost. <laughs> I thought he was going to die to sand. Okay, so I should have went for Sucker Punch. GG. That was such a bad matchup. Uh, I was thinking, that guy got 62 points. Favorite box art legendary for competitive... Uh, probably Ray. Probably Ray. I see. I mean, Kyogre. I don't like. I don't like Kyogre that much. Like competitive, especially when everybody started using all the bulky, the bulkier sets. Like Generation Eight and like Sword and Shield Ubers. Jesus, that one was disgusting. Just using T Wave and stuff to get around uh, Eternatus. But Ray was always an honest man until he got a Mega Evolution. <laughs> and then he became the most dishonest ever. I think that's the L. I think that's the last L. We'll see if I can get one more, but that was not a good ending matchup right there. How much does that do to Tyranitar? I'm curious now. The Tyranitar they give you especially defensive. I knock I even knocked off the life orb, so I mean I should have calced it, I guess. Okay, so letting it take those knockoffs was a mistake. If I had it at full, yeah. But even then, Rock Blast does 30 if it hits three times. I have to hit it like five times. Multiple times on all the roosts. Tell you what's up, get there.
Delta stream for Mega Ray, yeah, it's Mega Ray's crazy. Mega Ray's crazy. We get a singular Battle Factory game. Or can we not? I don't think we can. <laughs> I think the game has decided not. Oh, okay, we did. Wow. He has a very bad Zygarde matchup. Um, this should be weird. This is an awkward matchup for him, for sure. I'm gonna literally lead Zygarde, because this forces you to lead Bulu, which lets me go into Sizz. He could double to Moltres. It would be a W play, honestly. It would be a W play. Ask hottest Pokemon. Um. Turn some music back on, anyways. Look at that question. Uh. Look at that question. Oh my god. This guy said close combat. Okay, surely he doesn't stay in again, right? Okay. I don't know why he did that, but okay. Surely Moltres is a contender, right? Goes for flame. I don't know why I felt like that flank was just gonna burn me, but Papa Bulu comes back in. I don't know why. Okay, I thought he was just like better than me for a second, but I think brother is lost. Reggie still can have heavy slam, right? Or do they only give it body press? What do they give it? Uh, body press. Earthquake. But it also could be iron defense and amnesia. <laughs> uh, that doesn't seem fun. Bro, I'm, I'm in grassy terrain. I'm living in earthquake. I don't care. Oh, no. Oh, I did nothing. What I've been afraid of. I did nothing. <laughs> Anyways, my opponent decided that he did not want to uh, have any chance of defeating Zygarde, so he let the only thing that could possibly take a thousand arrows die. Tries to toxic my Zygarde and uh, axe the Registeel. What is your most beloved Pokemon? Lopany. Go to Delmize, could be Scarf, not Scarf. I'm gonna go straight for Poltergeist because uh, Ultra should be coming out. Lego. Dodge the hurricane. Okay, they end with Moltres. Very, very, very cool. I don't know. Why? Oh, why? Back to Delmize. I mean, Moltres is dead no matter what, so I can just go Power Whip. Dead to rocks. We sack the Moltres to go back into Gastrodon immediately after. These are some impressive plays. 
Yeah, I was answering the first question. Uh, the second question, my most beloved Pokemon would have to probably be... I have to give it to the Doof, honestly. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Goes for Toxic. It'd be a shame if my entire team loses to Chansey. That happen. I can truly turn my brain off at this point. Uh, go for Thousand Arrows. The dead Rotom. Bye. Go back to Scizor. Uh, really, I can go to Neolego because different. It was referring to temperature, I know. Lopini would be the hottest Pokemon if you had it next to Macargo. You know, it'd probably it'd probably be it'd probably be the same degrees, probably the same temperature. Put it next to Macargo, surely. <laughs> Help me out here. Our whip, I. How dare he? How dare he just decide to spam healing moves? This is gonna take a little bit. Uh, just right now. Bye, guard. <gasps> Superpower! Why? I don't know how Macargo can exist on Earth, let alone those screenshots of Macargo being next to Pokemon. And, uh... Macargo's a goofy Pokemon, though. It's pre-evolution, too. I forgot the name. But that they're both pretty goofy-looking Pokemon. Like, they look like fiery magma Yoshis. But I forgot what his baby form is. I just know. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh y'all said slugma? Yes, yeah, slugma ball. <laughs> Dang it. How do you get this game on PC? Type in play.pokemonshowdown.com. And you type that on your browser and boom, you're on it. What is this song? This song's crazy. This song's crazy. Hey, hey. I'm Sans. Sans? Oh. Uh, my spritzy goes insane. I was hating on uh, Lilip and Anorith. So I think I'm about to get fried. Be bored. <laughs> you wrap my throat for that tweet. Um, and some people just like to stay in for no reason. Fog on the pony. Wonder frillish. Have I lost the game like immediately? Oh, we're good. Go for hex. Go for mystical fire. Disable their psychic too, so they're forced to go for another mystical fire. Great for me, as I can go into Munchlax. Go Munch, go for Body Slam. Appreciate that eight bit. Ember, just go coughing. 
Nothing on his team takes Sludge Bomb well, except for Anorith, I guess, but... Yeah. I go to Timber. Uh, if they go for, like, Rocks or something, I can use Frillish as a sack, so... Not mad. They spin. Interesting. Go for a knock. I'll drain punch. Get some health back. Yes, yeah, LC. They gave us uh, LC teams. This is such a great song. I'm going to sack Frillish. Going to Spritzy. They recover. Fortunately for them, I'm invincible Spritzy. And Sig with another 20. So yeah, it's 50. 30 is such a weird number. Let's make it an even 50. Yo, shout outs to you. Not the, the even 50. With another dono. Appreciate it a lot. And if they know, how does Pokemon's world survive in the creation of a black hole via Gardevoir? And if they know Gardevoir can do that, does it mean it's happenable? Good question. We're asking, see, Joker's asking the real questions right now. Icicle Spear, Berry Juice. Sorry, buddy. Well, this was a super ownage. Okay. This was super ownage. Good game, Comic Sans. One, two, three. Oh, he, all right. He might have... He might have lost the battle, but he beat me in the war. He makes me up. His name is 1243. Not 1234. He got me. He might have. He, he got me. Oh, you're watching stream right now. Oh, what's up? He got me. I thought his name was Comic Sans 1234, but it was a 1243. Nobody wants to hear you sing to him. Stop. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I would never want to live in the Pokemon world. Who knows? An Aveltal just might appear and just... Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay. Very nice name. Your fellow autist. Yes. Uh, um, uh, their team is pretty bad. Yeah, their team sucks. Leave a cart. Uh, my opponent definitely going to just stay in. Die. Yeah. I just don't know. I, I don't know sometimes, but yeah. There's not much that he can do. Realistically. <laughs> but yes, I just have a feeling sometimes. Like, I'm going to stay in. Blaziken. I'm not sure that this actually lives. I'm gonna keep it a buck. 50. You know, this is really stupid, but I'm just gonna stay in and do it. Oh! I died. <laughs> so bad. Blaziken is so bad. It still died. And then he goes to... Bl Bro, you have a Ferrothorn right there. Hey. Oh, this, this song goes crazy. Okay. This song is crazy. Let me turn... Oh, somebody. Some I mean, like, all... 
What's up, tripod plays? <laughs> I see no electric immunity, so I'm just gonna lead with Heliolisk and turn my brain off. Ooh. This, this song is crazy. Over Volt. 48, and I'm freaking Jesus. Take a knock. It's unfortunate. Gotta do what you gotta do. I wasn't going to stack attack because this thing has Earthquake, I'm pretty sure. There's nothing else I could have swapped into outside of Talon, I think. I don't know if Aerodactyl's health is important, but its boots are definitely important, so. Getting a knockoff there is not good. Fuck. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. This isn't a man sign. Go for free volt. So Salazzle has a much easier time now. With them uh, staying in. Letting the man sign take that big hit. The fact that it lived the Stone Edge is kind of gross. I wish. I wish. That'd be amazing. Being able to just... Somebody just play this song on... Just like impromptu. Elyon. Let's go with Intelligent. I see Scarf. Vex. Vex. Heliolisk. Now I get off another free volt. I mean, he is specially defensive Pokemon. He has Attack Attack and a Scavalier. Unless it's an offensive. It's not. It's a defensive. I'd to go into sleep. Regardless. And I'm just kind of volt switching and U turning right now. If I use any other moves, I'd use Stone Edge and Earthquake. But outside of that, I've just been using Volt Switch and Earthquake. This is so epic. I put this man in the blender. He just has no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm just spamming it over and over and over. Get caught in the volt turn. Back attack can be a problem. Sure, if it's. I could literally lose. Yeah, the XQC title. Big T Bolt. Yeah, it took like 48 from Volt Switch. Of course, it's dead. My opponent's very reluctant to just go into stack up, attack up, but whatever. I don't know what set this friends can it have close combat? No, it can't. That's unfortunate. Back of them. Go for press. Press will hit and tally on hard. It's gonna prevent stack attacker from switching in. Mind you, stack of switching in is gonna kind of weird, but. I don't think I need to get up rocks here. I just think I need to prevent him from ever actually switching. I'm playing right now, Enrico. Just playing right now. No pre-recording. Why did that do so much? Uh, well, this is dead, so I'm actually going to get up my rocks. I was very glad that I did that. It does flinch me. 
However, that means that I can go into Esalen for Flamethrower. U turn. Oh, they're defensive. Yeah, see, like, this is what I was saying. I mean, they, they don't have a stealth rocker, so this has to be defensive stack attack. Though. They didn't go to it once. It took. It took. It took. I can't speak. That's how. That's how confused I am by this. It took 23 from a Volt Switch. I really channeled my inner XQC there by not being able to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> With the stutters, bro. It took 23, and then it took 45, bro. Why did they not go to this first? Hey, yo, calm down. Hey, calm down, lizard. Whatever it is. Fuck my Lopini though. I'm focused Ash, so there's no threat here. Dark Pulse dead. Why did they go? <laughs> Bro, why did they let their entire team die? To uh, the other move. The Salazzle. Oh, that's not. Heliolisk. And they had a special defensive stack attack of the entire game. Heliolisk is decent here. Mimic is pretty good. I'm definitely gonna get copyrighted for this song because it's vocals. I don't care. By the way, I could get blocked. Video could get blocked, so let me. <laughs> If Salazzle's a lizard, I'm a lizard. Yep. You turn. Reggie Steel. Little spikes. Um uh, gonna get up all their spikes. I could have went for a happy slump. Bonk. That does so much. Da 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 da. Does it have refresh? Great toxics. Um, I'm gonna get the one hit of damage with press. I want to preserve my Registeel's health for Ndidi, obviously. Uh, the Rotom takes. This is a weird turn. I'm gonna go Flygon and let myself get tricked. Ta -da. Uh, there's two spikes up. Go for Deep Fog. Let me find out if this Melodic has Refresh or not. So are you? Bro, what? It doesn't. Letting Heliolisk get toxic is the biggest deal. Um, Gigalith comes in. Go Flygon. I'm gonna go for EQ. I'm gonna go for it again. No, I'm not. I'm not built like that. I'm too scared. We can actually trade rocks now, so. Rush music is really, 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 really good. My favorite soundtracks for Sonic are unleashed in uh, SA2. Undeniably, though, Rush is up there as well. Tricks me a scarf. This is not like that. 
it's not as big of a deal as this as they're making out to be with these. I'm gonna lose the cloister regardless, but having my scarf tricked away to not really change anything. This is just a bad cloister matchup, so What does the cloister use? Uh, it's at least going to take the heavy slam hit. It's life warp too, so. I did 13. Toga Kiss doesn't do much in this matchup. So I just sack it. Again, the, the trick was obviously to lock me into the heavy slam and prevent me from uh, body pressing the blister. If it's a life orb, it's not that big of a concern, I don't think. Unless I'm tripping, I, I don't think it. Liquidation, too, so it's not ice shard. That doesn't change much. The simple fact that it's a life orb is the biggest deal here because he has to go for it again. All right, it's gonna take life orb. It's gonna be a 43. I gotta go to mimic you now. Obviously, go for shadow sneak. His multi-hit move is gonna kill the disguise, but he has to take another life orb hit. I just sacked the flag on my. Unless it's adamant. Is it adamant? Oh, it's always adamant. I didn't have to sack mimic you at all. I'm stupid. I forgot that he checked my flag on us. I could have just went to flag on. <laughs> Battle Factory gives you, uh, they give a random tier and they give you a random team based on that tier as well. Uh, completely random. I did not have to let my. Mimikyu die there. Not sure how much that will matter, but... Turn again. Heliolisk, T-Bolt. Giggle should die. The grass knot next. Go to mow. Since. I got a flag on. Because if they go for Leaf Storm, I go into Sigilith and win. Yep, alright. That was a forfeit. I did not have to sack Mimikyu, so I actually could have had Mimikyu still alive, which would have made this even easier, but I just needed it. If they went for a Leaf Storm, Flygon was going to die. I would have went into Decision Lift, went for Cosmic Power. They only move they can use is uh, Volt Switch, which then would have meant they had to go to Gigalith. Gigalith is unfortunately not Giga Chad enough to be at a plus one already, with the Flame Orb also activated. Popped it over. Alright, I think it's going to be last game. Last game, and then I'm going to sleep. I did not know it was one in the morning. <laughs> Jesus. My lead's gonna be Frillish. 
I have no itemless Pokemon, so I gotta go Hippopotas and take the Poltergeist. The unfortunate part about this... ...is that I... Ah, this is a funky matchup. Having no Pharaoh Seed or Marini and having to fight Corefish is annoying. I did nine, so I mean, I'm gonna die to another, to like two Poltergeists, so. If I go for rocks, I can keep pressuring this, but I'll lose my Hippo if they go for Poltergeist again. But if I slack off and they go to Corefish, they have the momentum, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna sack the Hippo. To get up my rocks. Going to Anorith. Uh, I mean, they probably go to Timber, right? Okay. They got a core fish. Not what I was thinking. Aqua Jet will not kill Anorith. Go for X Scissor. Anorith's dead. Okay. Now this is a bit more of an even playing field. Kinda, not really. That was a pretty... What else? The uh, Sonic Lost World. I think that's what that game was. <laughs> Goes for Dynamic Punch. If this guy confuses me... Get out of here. Why is Golet so frail? I didn't know it was that frail. It does not look... Golet does not look as frail as it... As it actually is. Jesus. Uh, they go for mock punch. Uh, do I really want to go pony? I think pony took could be so bad. Going to pony took could be so bad because hold on. Let's see. Going Pony took could be pretty bad because if I don't kill it. This is me not knowing LC Calyx off the top of my head. If this kills Timber from full or not, I doubt it. And yeah, no, it doesn't. Do I die to knock the 16? I'd be at 5 with no Violite. Oh, okay. Pony beats the Knock into mock won't kill me. He left it. Oh. I think yeah, I still got a low knockoff roll. Anorith is back. I called this Pokemon Goofy, and then this thing just appeared in every game after. Goes for spin. This hex. He's gonna go for knock. It's gonna do some good damage. Or he had something far more devious planned than I could have ever have ever thought about. Bro said X scissor. Uh Frillish in. I never let my Frillish take a hex. Go for Volt. They stay in. They're going to take a big Volt switch hit. But if they go to Pharaoh Seed, I got a Wisp it. Probably going to be blocked. Like this. Uh, This is not ideal. <laughs> not great. I do some damage. Yeah, that's definitely some damage. How much does Elekid do? Is this L? Like, is this like L Elekid or? Let's see. 
Ah, it's L Ella kid. Mid Pokemon. Go for T Bolt. Got a spam bolt. About one HP. That's crazy. And I T bolt. Bolt again. And I am going to punch it in the face because I'm disrespectful. There we go. Great ending game. WL a kid. This guy's name was I'm Trash at Pokemon 69. What a game to end on. I'm Trash at Pokemon 69. Rare Elekid W. That's a common Elekid W. Oh. Alright, let's find ending music song. Uh, Thinking. Thinking, 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 thinking emoji, thinking emoji. The live thinking emoji moments. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna end the stream. I can't think of a song to end this with. Uh, here, yeah. I'm just gonna end it. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Peace. This is very random. So thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go get, go to sleep.